What is up? Oh my god. Let's go, let's go. Shredder's freaking out. Like Bro, that that was crazy. That was wild. I felt like I was in the halls of uh, the Congress on January 6th. That was excitement. Holy <laughs> shit. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the $1 trillion, the, sec the defense sec uh, ministry. I don't know what country we're part Secretary of. Defense. Secretary of Defense. Secretary of Defense. Department they, of Defense has given us this. They lost this like a trillion of. dollars in Iraq. So, Ladies and gentlemen, we, we are all domestic yeah. terrorists. We're the ones that found it. Folks, we're in the Pentagon black budget. You already know what that's about. JSOC operations happening in poppy fields in Afghanistan only to fund the best and brightest. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Anyways, well, it's leftovers. It is what it is. Hello, Hassan. Welcome back. Nice to see you. It's great to be here. Sun's out. <laughs> I I know. Sun's out. You You love that. You posted this. Yeah. Is this like an ongoing goof? Yeah, I always post like a little titty. Okay, that's Like, fine. I give a little titty. I give a little titty to the people out there, and then you do. some people like it. Bitch titch. Some people <laughs> say, like, they get uncontrollably horny in the middle of the day when they see it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel that. It's people will be like, dude, I just turned it on. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I, that's my, what my heart flutters when, and sings this song. Yeah? Yeah, you know, I you know realized my nipple's really small, bro. You know what else I realized? I have white chest hairs. You do not. Yeah, no, I don't. I Your don't chest hair is else. dark as hell, bro. I don't have white hair anywhere but my head. But yeah, I and I, I don't have, like, I mean, I have some white, like, beard grays coming in, but I have white chest hair. Like, my chest hair is just white as hell. Red hair. Let's see. Let's do a nip. Like, I don't know what the fuck. Is, what does that mean that my nipple is so small? Does that mean I have cancer or something? No. What is that red dot next to your nip, though, on the other? Yeah, what is that? Oh, it's like a... It's like a, I don't know a blood. What do you call those? Red hair. It's just like a. I, I don't know what it is. I'm just, I've never seen one. It's called a tumor. <laughs> no. It's oh, not. oh, it's like it's, a, like, it's a like a little, mole. Yeah, it's like a little mole. Like a little blood mole. Red. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Did everybody watching leftovers think you were going to be getting into you know this this early? Right out the start, baby. Free the nipple. <laughs> yeah. That's what I say. But actually, I'm pretty proud of how the perspective worked out in my uh, eyes. Quite, quite a striking. Uh, it's a good perspective. What you got to do is get a little bit more undercarriage, though. What you didn't, right? You didn't, you didn't showcase like the yes. the shade. I got you. I got underneath you. the titty, right there. That's Different I'm proud of it, honestly. Yeah. Well, Underboob is it's, one of the most important parts for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been, you. I've been, you know, I've been working out a lot. I wanted to, I wanted to showcase it a little bit. Ooh. I don't want to get too slutty with it. I want to get a little <laughs> slutty. So that's what that I do. That was perfect amount of slutty for me. Thank you. On a, you know, you Wednesday get afternoon. You slutty with it. You or, get slutty with it all the time. Yeah, you know what it is. You're always. If you got it flaunted, that's what I say. That's fucking, but you yeah. wanted to actually come in here and talk about MILF Manor like I haven't seen that shit? No, I just said, have you watched it? Because it's oh, yeah. crazy. I watched MILF Manor, bro. Dude. It's, I. The second F is really good. DILF? Dude, even, like, I said this on stream, but it's like... Pornhub at least slaps a step in front of the mom. You know what I mean? Right. Like these motherfuckers were like YOLO. No, it's incest city. They're, they're not fucking their moms. D but that's like okay. But they are rooming with their mom, who's but gonna fuck also people the entire premise. Room. But like reality television, and I'm like I have a doctorate in this. Okay, I watch a lot of reality. Are you TV. serious? I watch a lot of reality TV. What's your favorite reality show? Um. I'm currently watching Kid Nation on stream right now. I love like specifically oh, you're watching early two thousands era reality television because it like it's a bygone era. Hell yeah. Second Goated. episode, an eight year old literally goes, Are they gonna hang the chicken like they hang Saddam? Like it's like shit like that that I just <laughs> you know insane. Okay, all um, right. It says a lot about America. I'm an Amerabu, as you know. I wasn't in the country while this shit was happening, so like I love I'm fascinated about it. Reality TV is about conflict, right? It's about deflection. It's about misdirection. So, like, the entire purpose of MILF Manor is literally the will milf they, manor? won't, or MILF Manor. Mm, I like MILF will, Manor. Will they, won't they, about incest. What? No. What yeah. is the will they, they, they won't go there? they? First episode. No. Oh, the touching. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it, it's like that I'm it saying, was, like, the, the will they, won't they, yeah. obviously, they're not going to fuck with their moms. Like, everybody <laughs> knows that. But, like, that's the, that is going to be the challenge is that like they're going to constantly put their moms and the sons in positions where it's like very awkward because 
the moms are fucking horny. The sons are kind of horny too. And like then the horny moms are like doing these like blindfolded challenges, like fondling everyone's cock to see which one is your sons. Like, hey, you know, we're yeah, that you're right. Actually, I see what you're saying now. Like that's the, insane. That's just incest. The first episode, argument? they're like, okay, y'all got to feel, you're going to feel everybody shirtless. I was like, oh, there's, okay, but they're not, their son's not going to be there, right? And they're like, and you have to identify which one's your son. Yeah. I was like, whoa. Adult yeah. incest. I'm into it, though. I yeah. love it. No, it's freak shit, and I love it, dude, because, you know, we're all, we're all just like degenerate perverts at this point. Fuck it. Just have fun with it. Um, I don't know what you just sent me in Discord, AV. Oh, here. Yeah, here it is. This is the lineup. So each mom goes and has to fondle each one, one by one. Yeah. So what I was saying, though, is because it's not easy to find a MILF and a son. If they both agree to be on this show, and the sons want to fuck with all their ladies. So, like, this is not the best. This is not the cream of the crop. Like, a lot of these women and kids are, like, unfuckable. And, it's, and, and not that I'm the authority on that. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Like, there's this one kid, he looks like he's 16. I think this is him. Yeah, here. the 20-year-old. Like, no way those moms wants to fuck that kid. I guarantee you, dude. Yeah, I argument? think 12. I mean, you're a, you'd are you be a literal pedophile if you fucked Yeah, him. I think, like, the it's main... So crazy. The guiding motivator for everyone here is the universal uh, currency that we all care about, clout. I think that's, like, clout is what's motivating these people. Yeah, because usually on reality shows, like, if you watch The Bachelor, all the guys are like... Retard! Oh my! Why did I just say that? <laughs> I, don't know. I was gonna say ridiculously. Retarded. <laughs> I was meaning to say ridiculously. Yeah. It, let's, We're starting off early the today. Kill switch. Where's the skill switch, Dan? Let's go. You didn't even finish it. You I, didn't even finish no, it. No, I cut. My, I stopped myself. I stopped myself. That's not. I meant to say ridiculously jacked. That was such an honest moment for you. You literally went. Well, Why did I like? It, sometimes it's just like some shit just comes out of your mouth. And you're like, "What the fuck?" I'm glad I caught myself and was able to edit, edit, edit myself. You know, mid <laughs> it was it was funny though. Like, it's, it's growth. Hey, this is growth. 2023, exactly. yeah. year of maturity. This Aiden day. Ross, stop jerking off. Yes. Found, uh, you know, the light of Allah, Ethan Klein. Yeah, wait, 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 I'm wait. Good. Hold on. I gotta. I want to ask you truly about <laughs> Aiden Ross finding Allah. But hold on. So this is the kid that this kid is apparently 20. Yeah. His mom is the craziest person there, by the way. She tried to fuck a dude on the first night. Yeah, she's like, I'm so horny. <laughs> she's so wild. She's like, yeah, I need a cack. <laughs> oh, and so in the second episode, she has a freak out because the guy she's interested in is Mexican and he's speaking Spanish with his okay, mom. Okay, spoilers. I haven't watched the second you, season. Well, you, I haven't watched the second episode yet. Go yeah, I know, it. I know. You came I here know. to talk about MILF manners, so let's talk shop. Adult incest. <laughs> but who's, I mean, no offense, he just looks like a child. What's your argument? What's your argument? Yeah, what's I, your I, argument? I just, no problem. I know who loves this show. <laughs> uh, Dennis Prager, Prager yeah. Prager hates it because like three of his ex-wives are on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I ever made my point, but yeah, if you watch The Bachelor, everybody's like insanely jacked, like roided out. And then a lot of these guys just have like normal bodies. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to really find like it, like yeah. a like a sexy dude and also like a sexy mom. Exactly. And they're and both like they're willing depraved. to fuck yeah. Yeah. But there it they is, Milk this. Manor. Yeah, they did it. They did it. Um, this is actually a joke from 30 Rock from like 15 years ago. Milf Manor? Yeah. Wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, did they actually know that? call it Milf Manor? They call it Milf Island. And uh. I mean, they, they go way harder. Like they make the kids like actual like eight year olds and on it. But it's such it's such good comedy writing, man. That's great comedy writing. That's undefeated. Do you, do you think the creators of this show are referencing that? Or did they just? No, uh, they are just. You oh, because like, you, yeah. Because that is a that is a joke about the depravity of of reality TV, right? And like and Alec Baldwin's true. character, you know, going to insane lengths, uh, e including pedophilia, to like you know do incredible network television, right? TLC, baby. And We're then finally TLC learning. Market. Yeah. Are we learning yet? Yeah, we're learning that incest is wincest. <clears throat> mm -hmm. A dilf. That's my man. I All right, be so wait. Saying that with a mullet and this hat on. <laughs> so yeah, wait, that's I've right, been, baby. <laughs> I've been trying to um, get a hold of Aiden Ross. I know you're in touch with him. He sent me his he's address. He stopped. He has stopped responding to my text messages. I think oh, he no. he hates me now. He's like because you haven't found. Oh well, you are you are you have found the light of Allah. Well, I yeah. I, my starting point is with the light of Allah, yeah, but yeah. like. 
But like he, I don't think he's like becoming Muslim or anything. I think he's just like learning all the wrong things, I guess, about Islam, which is like hyper westernized in a weird way. Um, you know, there's just like every every religion. Uh, there is some, there's good and there's bad, you know? It's all about in, your personal interpretation, well, well, your personal journey. I don't have an issue with that. But no, it all adds up. Okay, Tate went mu- it converted, right? Yeah, converts are a little wild, though, in every religion. Born again are the worst. Yeah, May have, Allah they, awaken the well, people. Well, we call them reverts because everyone is technically Muslim. So you're just like. Is that reverting. what you call born again? And is yeah. A revert? Yeah. That's fire, kind of. It's almost like. I like how it's almost like blaming the person. No, no, it's very understanding. It is? It, 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 Islam is, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, you reverting. That means like... Yeah, you're, you're finding, you know, you're finding your path again. You're, you're straight away from it kind you, of thing. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, anyway, so Aiden, he's a simp for Tate. We know that. He shaved his head. Now he's talking about how uh, he ha- he's sworn off jerking off because it's poison for his mind. He says alcohol, <laughs> alcohol is poison for the mind. And all this shit, and now it's, I'm starting to put it together. He's he come out against hot tub streams, and I'm starting to think that this man might be reverted. No, I, well, I mean, it's not real. Like, they, that's the thing, right? But I do think that there is, uh, in a weird way, it's just, like, trendy, I guess. Like, people kind of, in a weird way, find, because, like, Tradcath shit was, like, popping. So now it's like, what's the real Tradcath religion? It's not Catholicism. The Pope is like gay now. You know what I mean? Like, right. you're not gonna see the fucking mola out there being like, yeah, you know. Yeah. They're not. That's the, the real people. one in the eyes of the Western world. Which, by the way, Islam is not a monolith. It's a much more complex situation. It's a much more complex conversation. There are billions of uh, believers that that range from a varying degree of like progressive values all the way to like the fundamentalists. All that stuff is is super uh, complicated, but um, as far as as far as like the Western understanding of monolithic Islam uh, in the aftermath of the war on terror has always been that like these are the real religious guys, you know what I mean? They're not embarrassed. They they do the misogyny. They do all the right, stuff that right, we should right, be doing. Yeah. So like I they see, see it as like the real, the final, actual like real fundamentalist old school traditionalist I love that. value no, religion. That's awesome. That's why like Taliban and Tate have made like a love connection and I think that's really special. Yeah, it's yeah. just it's all <sighs> everyone turns into an American liberal at the end of the day. Cultural imperialism is too powerful. American culture is is too captivating. That's why you got you got the fucking you got motherfuckers wearing like Nike slides, you know, who were living in a fucking cave who came from, uh, you know, the mountains of Pakistan talking about, like, being groipers on Twitter. Like, <laughs> you should not know that, my man. What the right. fuck? Wait, wait. Like, how did you jump 11 steps and become, like, and behave like a kid from Ohio who's just, like, a radicalized teenager because, like, he was isolated and, and went on the wrong floor for too long? Bro. But I'm from Ohio, though. White boy. It's George Soros, I think. Here, by the way, uh, Arab World News, you remember our friend in the news world? Yeah. Yeah, so he has an update. Important, important update. This didn't get claimed, right? Uh, I, I didn't, I didn't test that. There's music. Admit. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I occasionally check in on him just to see what he's up to, and this was one of his latest videos, and it actually had quite a few views. Oh no, when this guy actually died. Yeah, I know. Has passed away. Wait, I don't know who's Reggie Groover. His father announced Slick his Goku. death. I don't know who it is. He but voiced he had like a Goku. creative soul. He He's a YouTuber. He yeah. passed away. Oh, that's community. sad. It is sad. And worked diligently to create well, his I'm own videos. I'm glad Airborne News is here to his utilize father him. His added. <laughs> For this anime footage. to continue. Anywhere... Wait, Raji would wait go. was he associated with the anime, or was his name just Slick Goku? Uh, I, I looked at his channel, and he does seem to have some... Uh, he does seem to be like an <laughs> okay, anime channel. Okay. So, yeah. He yeah. would make friends. Right. Raji was the kind of man yeah. that would support those who cared about. Mm-hmm. 
I need to understand what his connection is to Slick Goku. <laughs> Not Reggie. Rest in peace, Reggie. Rest in power. No, he's just eulogizing him. Why is he doing that? He's a fan. He wants to wish him well. Live to the fullest. Like... So Arab World News is like a super big fan of of anime. Is of that like, what that means? Of this kind of very niche. Like he's just li uh, he's just watching CJ the Champ and shit. For does, those of you who don't know, um, another incredible anime review channel. He just does the news, bro. You know what I mean? He just covers trending topics. For example, and I just saw that that one had two and a half thousand views. That's a banger. Way more than he usually Oh, this gets. one has even more of a banger. Yo, oh. his death videos are actually doing everything for him. Oh my oh. god. This one got even he, more. You think he realized like, oh, this, this shit, like Popping. people, yeah, people watch it, so it just gotta hit that. Do you know what? I Arab World News, you should become a eulogy channel, because I think this content is connecting. It seems like it. I mean, it's way higher views than it is. Do we know who Randy Gonzalez is? You know, I don't, but... Uh, Let's that's learn. Peace. Randy... He's a he's a TikToker. He did a bunch of TikToks. Him and his son. I've oh, probably seen him. Yeah, he he was only thirty five. He passed of colon cancer. Oh fuck! Jesus That's Christ! Sad. What the fuck? Thirty five? Yeah. That's cool. Cool. I need to go get a col colonoscopy. What Same, the fuck? dude. Jeez. Stage four colon cancer. Damn, brother. That's not fair at all. Yeah. Well, your death was a great benefit to the Arab World News Channel. So we salute you for that. <laughs> Evil here. Your passing was not in vain, my friend. <laughs> no, I, I am partnered up with High Power Wellness, and we're trying to give away these packages, these that didn't juices work. to help people with their health. And the main goal here is to educate you, yes, to give you the understanding that it's very important how you fuel your body, what you eat, and what you drink. <laughs> Sure. And you can't just listen to the doctors because they don't give you all the information you needed. I mm. was blessed that I met Gary. Son, you were just and he reached that. out to me and he's helping me get through this process. So that's our main goal here is to educate people to know what to feed your body the correct mm -hmm. way. Not just is this for before cancer. Before or after the cancer? I think during. During. Okay. Patients. Yeah. It's for knew. people that want yeah. to live the correct way of life. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up. So he predicted his death in the last video. <laughs> yeah, I think like, my man, my man has cancer, dog. What the fuck? He's like Nostradamus over here. He's like these are my these are my final days. I just want to say goodbye. Yo, this dude predicted his wow. death. That's yeah. wild. Power wellness coming to you, baby. This is my video that I'm doing for my symptoms. People wanted to know how did I find out I had colon cancer and what was my symptoms? Right. Well, it's really easy and really simple to tell you my symptoms. It was just a lot of... Um, where's the Arab world news part of this video? Yeah, usually he chimes in by now. This man just re-uploaded his content. And that was that's his best Yeah, that's a wild thing to do for, for people on YouTube to just like, you know. To just post about like content creators who passed away. I mean, I, I like I the know. niche. I think he should follow it. <laughs> if I ever die, he would be fucking. He would, <laughs> everyone would be watching that. All of our fans would be right. Line as best away. <laughs> Ethan was a great he, man. He ate <laughs> too many frozen pizza. <laughs> no. <laughs> Listen, no. The last time I had frozen pizza was with you. Okay, but yeah, yeah, dude, you're you're doing great. <laughs> you're doing great. Are you you're still working out? You're still you're still dieting. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good still. Doing pretty good. I have not like a, I need to get back like on the full dedication, but I'm like half dedicated, so I'm not I'm still at my lowest ever. I'm not gaining weight. I just need to get back on focus. Yeah. Um the New York Times uh, the Daily today was talking about childhood obesity and how it's an epidemic in in the country and like what apparently like fucking doctors are now literally telling children that they should get bariatric surgery, which is wild. It's like my dad got it, my brother got it. It's gastric bypass. They like cut your stomach, basically. The kids? Yeah. They're just straight up like, nope, this is Who's like... Who's doing that? Uh, apparently doctors are now very aggressively trying to, like early on, immediately uh, suggest... Does that it. work though? Is there good results associated? I mean, it sounds insane. With, with, but, a, but with I... the bariatric surgery? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's usually seen as like our last resort, which is why I thought it was strange that they're like immediately hitting that button for well, children. Well, I think... 
in the cases of like extreme obesity of kids when like it's really crazy, I think like 90, I, I'm, I may be pulling this out of my ass, but from what I recall, it's like 90% morbidly obese for life. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not like, uh, oh, fuck, I forget the numbers. I got to look into it more, but yeah, uh, they, it's not, people, you know how we have a concept of like, oh, that's just baby fat? Like, that's not it. Right, <laughs> that's what right, doctors right, are basically right, saying, right, like, right. nope, that's not baby fat. It doesn't go away. You're just like, obese. your child is obese and he's yeah. going to be an obese adult. And it's also one in five. It says around 55% of obese children go on to be obese in adolescence. Around 80% of obese adolescents will be obese adults. Kids loved Hitler. Yeah, so we need to cut out their stomachs, I guess. Yeah, and That's then they extreme. were, apparently doctors are also prescribing uh, the, the in, there's, a, there's a wave of insulin drugs that people use now as appetite suppressants. I heard it's a diabetes medicine, yeah, right? Yeah, diabetes about medication. Um, the problem is, I, even I talked to my doctor about this. Is like, I cut my, you know, I I don't eat a normal amount. I eat like less than someone in my size would be eating normally because I'm very sedentary and my my metabolism is super slow because I track everything. And um, when you get off of it though, you fucking shoot up. It doesn't like you're you people gain more weight. They say because your appetite is just like uncontrollable once right. you're off of it. Right. And there's a lot of nationwide shortages and stuff. So obviously hitting it natty is always the best. Yeah, yeah. Always the best move. Um. I yeah. I've heard a lot about this drug. It's like apparently some people are calling it like a miracle weight loss yeah. drug. But apparently it, if you go off. Yeah, it's something diabetes. Is it, GL, is it GLP one? Tires or patatide or something. Terzipata. Pad and, it's it, not. It's it not, makes you shed weight, or it, it no. Like it just appetite. shuts off your appetite in your brain, like entirely, because your insulin is like very. Hmm. Your insulin uh, has a lot to do with your with your with your stomach, with your weight loss, with your weight gain, mm -hmm. how you process food. Says it works on two naturally occurring hormones that help control blood sugar and are involved in sending fullness signals to the gut. So should just take up smoking cigarettes. <laughs> GLP-1 agonists are what they're called. They're diabetes drugs. Uh, Not used. cleared, by the way, f by the FDA for weight loss, but I guess it's going through, it's going through official channels to do that. But sounds crazy. No, they. Um, well, I guess like uh, amphetamines were originally also used as a weight loss drug. Yeah. In the '60s. Yeah. That was more fun, probably, the way to lose weight. Yeah. It's a class two type. Uh, it's a class of type two diabetes drug that only improves blood sugar control, but may also lead to weight loss. Well, I was reading that like as on average, people were losing thirty percent of their weight over yeah. like two months. Like, yeah, because ultimately, results. weight loss. Yeah, insane. this is what I say all the time. Weight loss is literally. It's just. I mean, everyone who is like a valid. Uh, educated person that has an opinion on this matter, or has made a YouTube video on this matter, or has written about this matter, will tell you, 80% of it is your diet. Yeah. Obviously, genetics play a, a fundamental role in this as well, but, like, your diet, you can't outwork your diet. Hey, bro. Speaking of working out, though, yeah. Aiden Ross. Yeah. Um. So, I, I he talked to XC last night. He thinks I think he's a rightist. That's what he said. Right? Oh, he's such an idiot. I just like <laughs> such a I'm just I'm idiot. worried about him. Like I wanna I wanna make sure that he's doing all right. Like he's he's he he I see him like focusing on the wrong things, focusing on some right things, like he's working out all the time, which I really love. I love when people go out and work out and you know, um improve uh their 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 body, improve their health, improve their mentality. You know what, bro? I'm what? sick of him. He can go fucking just he can just go rot for with his, you know what I mean? Like, I try to reach out. I try to do the right thing. He sends me his address. I say I'm coming. He ghosts me. It's like, bro, if your role model is Tate and you want to go find, uh, if you want to go join the Taliban, go for it, bro. Just be, just, I'm not going to try to save you anymore. Okay, okay, well, here's the thing, though. Like, he's doing all this right shit. I think cutting out alcohol is good. It's very healthy. Okay, cool. But, drinking. like, working very out. Very healthy to work out every day. And then this motherfucker still thinks it's because he stopped nutting that that's the reason hmm. why he's like improving his life. I'm like, that's bro, you're, crazy. you're yeah. doing you're doing all the right things, bro. It's not the fucking it's not the masturbation, dummy. It's all the good shit that you're doing. Keep up the good shit. It, it's just a fact, in my opinion. 
Yo, you, just, you want see this shit? Yeah, this Dana slap, White yeah. bought this shit. Power, Power slap, slap. Yeah, and I think he should go to jail for this. He's this is not most critical certified, so I, I refuse to watch it. Like, <clears throat> like this shit is so fucked up. I think Dana White needs to go to jail because half of these people are, are gonna have damaged per pituitary glands. For <laughs> have sure. you never seen fight like slap fight? Uh, you know, content before? <coughs> no, I have. But Can I, I just say, how the fuck is this TikTok allowed to exist? But my fucking TikTok gets banned because yours every is goddamn day for hateful misconduct, dude. Yours is racist, bro. Super racist. We got three TikToks taken down this week too. For oh, yeah, no, the tater yeah. tots are going fucking real aggro with it. I just, I hate it. I feel like there's just like monkeys on the dial in that in in a room. Like there's no like real human being. Wait, hold on. Any of this. What did ours get removed for? Love. Exact same thing. Hateful, hateful conduct. conduct. Hateful. Yeah, That's the I've game. been talking to Austin Knox about it too. Like it's they're they're going hard. The tater tots. Yeah, talks the tater tots are going hard on Love like that. Andrew Tate's enemies, <laughs> perceived yeah. enemies, on their little Discord that they Doing paid fifty dollars to be a part of. Does this look Fuck like a idiot. fake? Does this look fake? It doesn't look like he hit him that hard. A lot of times you have to watch the slow mo to really see how brutal it is. Like. Yeah, I don't know. I could have taken would, that hit. Okay. I'm just kidding. I'm willing to bet <laughs> if you did a TikTok theory. reacting to this, your TikTok would get taken down and this video would be fine. <laughs> right. Yeah. One no, million That's percent. definitely happening. So they, they're they holding a pool noodle, and if they drop the pool noodle, I guess they, they lost consciousness or something. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. <laughs> that's it. Dude, this shit is so fucked up. It's like it's, so. Slap fights are actually more dangerous than boxing and MMA oh, because, yeah, like, definitely. you're you're supposed to be unguarded and you can very easily get concussed. Well, there, from a slap. there's the ones where they go back and forth like 20 times, and there's no question in my mind that they're getting brain damage. No question in my mind. I think OG slap fights are five and five. That's what they should be limited to. Here, like, let's see. Whoa! And this is like open hey, palms guys. slapping. Yeah. Oh, he needs oh, oxygen what? around Phil. Oh my god. <laughs> we need. <laughs> this is insane. Yeah, this ran oxygen. <laughs> Make sure his brain is still operating for the second oh, hit. Oh my lord. <laughs> Do you know where you are right now? Yeah. Do you know where you are right now? Three, two, one. Oh, dude, Come you're on. fucking dead. That was bitch made. Yeah. He's done. He's dead. Look how big, dude. And by the way, I love this game because like dudes like this can become professional athletes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I love that. Name another sport where this man could be a professional athlete. Uh, Olympic. Uh, I mean, it's like weightlifting, probably. Strong or like shit. Those like, those like strongman competitions where they like tow a car with yeah. their teeth or whatever. Those dudes always look like that, too. Yeah. But football? I mean, he, he looks like a, yeah, a lineman. linebacker. Lineman. I mean, he. I don't think he's got... I don't think he's got legs for it, dude. No. Yeah, probably not. That guy's wearing like a 10XL shirt. He's just got to stand there. And no, I mean, dude, he's obviously a mean competitor, right? I wouldn't want to get slapped by him. That's Hell no. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Wait, he's hold dead. on. He died. Oh, God damn it! I'm trying to find. <laughs> I'm trying to find uh, some of the better ones here that I've seen where they just keep slapping and slapping and slapping. Keep oh. fucking uh, my mouth. Sometimes the ladies get in there. Oh yeah, there's a Yeah, you know. There's a women's league? Yeah. Let's go. Oh god. Yeah, so you don't want to get hit in the head. Um and here's Dana White and his goons literally just commentating. As Dana White's die. looking at her like, damn, I wish I could slap her like I slap my wife. <laughs> True. He's like good form. I gotta take that home and try yeah. it out. Yeah, look at her. That's awesome. I smoke marijuana so I don't <laughs> beat my wife and children. <laughs> what? That's Dana, that's Dana White. Dana White. <laughs> yeah, that's Dana White. What the Would fuck? <laughs> With your right hand. God. Okay. Dana White, the <laughs> only guy who does steroids that I don't actually respect. Two, right hand. <laughs> <laughs> she don't got the reach. Oh, my favorite. Oh, she, no, she gets, she gets her good. My favorite part is they give him 30 <laughs> seconds to get you. Oh! Oh, she's done. She's done. Yeah, she does like a. Cheers. No. <laughs> 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 
Oh, oh my gosh, she did a flip. Yeah, that's she's brain damaged, I think. And this should be illegal. This should. I'm sorry. There needs to be, <laughs> this is crazy. No, there needs to be some. But like we're watching it, obviously that's the reason why they. I mean, apparently this wasn't. It's not that it's not entertaining. This wasn't seen as a success. Um, I guess. I mean, they're still post. Dude, you're telling me if there was gladiators fighting to the death in arena, people would watch it. It yeah, doesn't I would mean watch it's not. It shouldn't exist. I would watch it. Exactly. <laughs> for sure. And so, like, I feel like there needs to be a reckoning for this kind of shit. Hold I'm on. Spartacus. Like, are you yeah. gonna pay for the? Are you Dana White? You don't even pay for healthcare oh, for so your fighters. Oh, so Vasily the Dumpling is like the the OG. Okay, yeah, yeah, so yeah. he's he, like, he's, he's famous. I've I've seen his like uh, I've seen his videos. I've watched a lot of his videos. This guy is fucking scary as shit. Not this guy, this guy. But, like, Dana White doesn't even pay for his fighter's health insurance. Is he going to pay for no. these people's brain damage uh, Fuck care? no, of course not. Exactly. Vasily also, uh, he will, he is, from what I understand, he matches his opponent's energy. Like, if there's, like, a small person, No, he did not. He didn't match no energy no, there. No, he did not match his energy <laughs> in this went one. went nuclear. But usually he's, like, known for... Not going super ham. I guess this guy personally disrespected him or something. Oh, really? He goes gentle on the... Oh, that's he's a, he's a sweet guy. Yeah, yeah. He's a dumpling. He's got a gentle, gentle soul. Giant. And it looks like Jeremy right there. Quartering. Oh. These people are no <laughs> Quartering business. wishes he had the facility hey, knockout. Yo. The facility knockout power, dude. Come on. <laughs> Wait, yo, the that's, uh, that's the famous... Red loser. That's the Oil famous Synthol guy. Oh, yeah. My God. Fucked his ass up. Dude, these people should not be in- Oh, that was on his wrist. Oh, so that's the other thing that's like odd about this, oh, is that shit. like they're karate chopping each other's face. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's point. not a slap. <laughs> it's like an open palmed fucking- Vasily! Strike. Yeah. Dude, look, look at that! <clears throat> look how his hand hit his fucking head. Like there was no breaking that at all. <laughs> oh. Okay, there's a, ch there's a war going on here. Yeah, I've seen this video. I've watched this video. It's like they're not even there anymore. His okay, no, he's there. It's gonna break his hand. <laughs> anyway, there's so much of it, and it's I, it, frankly, I find it horrific. And I think Dana White is going to hell for this one. If he <laughs> wasn't already, going to help here, yeah, if he wasn't already. So I don't beat my wife and children. <laughs> this one's there's no, the there is no saving that man. He's definitely. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I wanted to show that to you. I, I'm sure you had seen it, but where's the guy with the fucked up face? That shit, I. You know, you showed all like this, that. but you never showed Ludwig Ogren's chess boxing, where he also uh, demonstrated disgusting, classless violence. Ludwig? He did this as well, Ludwig. Yeah, shame on you, Ludwig. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, Against he they Connor, did a slap Connor fight, Dog right. Virginia. Yeah, no, he's going to hell too. Then. Yeah, fucking teaching the next generation awful, awful habits. <laughs> he's There's... a right wing guy. That guy. All right, mogul male. <laughs> Wait, not this. Okay, this video is fine. I wanted to see him getting slapped, but this is the result. This dude did a slap fight. He won, by the way. I said, I said, yeah, yeah, he won, but at what cost? Oh my god. Yeah. I've well, never you know, seen you know, anything you know, like you know, this. He won though. A true, 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 true competitor, my friends. They, I wonder how. I wonder if the prize uh, purse is going to cover his health care, his health costs. Definitely not. No. Oh my god. No, but these are usually like former Soviet countries, so they have like some level of health care already. So how do you even know. fix that, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? Get your balls off my face, man! <laughs> Here it is in the making. Uh, this is the hero. That shit was fire. In a battle. This was compelling. Pure heart, he shows. Dude, this one. So the one we just saw is the guy on the right. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Look, at his face. Look at his face. Look at his face. By like that one, his face is just like exploding. Oh my god. And so. Dude, this guy, he's like, dude, I can't do this much There's, longer. Watch what a badass he is. He literally, like, put turned his head into the hand. He's like... Uh, fucking legend, dude. No! That one, that one, he starts crying. There's a tear that rolls down his eye on the left side. Oh my god. Yeah, so there's no shot. That, this is permanent brain damage. There's no... This is the head trauma. These guys are gonna have CET at, like, in, like, two years. Listen, Whatever. C for, former, former, like... Soviet countries, they they gotta they gotta find something to do. You know I mean, what I, I mean? I guess.
They got this. They got fucking parkour videos and and you know dash cam footage. There, right. There's like That's this true. is the entire economy. Vladimir Putin. That's true. That's fair. It says Vegas. <laughs> like, <laughs> they're definitely <laughs> Russian. Dude, I love how they slap the cotton out of his ear. He's not even there. Look at him. Look at. There's nothing left in his eyes. <laughs> Dude, eventually this guy just with the wrist. These guys have perfect form, by the way. These guys are pros. Yeah, they. This guy's like, yo, is something wrong? Is my head stinging a little bit? Is there something? I think I think he, uh, I think what ended up happening is it, it helped him because it just like neutralized right. all of his nerves. He has permanent nerve damage on the side of his face. Right. He can't talk anymore. But he's a true competitor now. But he will never feel pain on that side of his head ever again. Holy! Oh, someone said they're speaking in Romanian. Yeah. Dude turned into a Batman villain. Wow, like a Dick Tracy villain. This guy is just like. Dude, I can't watch it anymore. Can we move on, please? I, I just. It's I never want to see someone slapping another person ever again. He he forfeits, and this guy wins. I mean, that's how slap fights end. Yeah, you either forfeit or you get knocked out. I know, but like the guy, he's a true competitor at heart, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so they're gonna, they're, I think they're both dead now of, uh, brain hemorrhages, so, rest in peace, Arab World News, do your thing. <laughs> I've just, I've never, I don't know what it is about slaps, but, like, <clears throat> it's like when you see a spider on a, on a TV show or something, and then you, like, start thinking you have a spider, it's the same vibes. When I watch people getting slapped, I feel like I'm getting slapped a little mm, bit. I see. Weird. Let's talk about some Because you're an empath, Hassan. Uh, fuck, that, is that it? You have empath it, energy. MB. No, I'm an empath. Oh, no. <laughs> so let's say uh, Trump at Diamond of Diamond and Silk's funeral. Now, di who was... I don't remember Diamond and Silk. What was their story? Diamond no, and no, Silk no. are two commentators that uh, used to open for Donald Trump. Oh, these uh, Silk is the one that doesn't really talk as much, and she just goes, uh-huh. And Diamond was the one that did most of the talking. Um, unfortunately, she, uh, you know, Diamond passed away. And uh, I thought they, diamonds I, were forever. I believe. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I believe that uh, they had a show. They didn't have a show on Fox News. But they had a show on like some other, uh, you know, right wing channels I, and stuff. It was Newsmax or OAN, one of those two. I want to say. Yeah, they. But they're a commentary duo. <coughs> Sisters. I just love oh, their sisters. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And not, and not like. Yeah, they're sisters. Wow, yeah. sisters. Yeah. Not. <laughs> not James Charles' sisters. <laughs> right, right, right. Sisters. That makes sister sense. So I guess uh, speaking on Saturday in North Carolina, Trump uh, had a really nice eulogy for them. They would, they be, oh, so here's what happened. They would routinely open for Trump in campaign rallies. Yeah. And, and they were backers, early backers in 2016. And then they basically leveraged that notoriety to land a regular commentator role at Fox News. But um, because of their routine coronavirus uh, conspiracies they were spreading on Fox News, they were dropped from Fox News because they're fucking fake. Fox Whoa. News, I mean, not Diamond Woke. Silk. These, um, <laughs> by the way. These Fox are... News is fake news. Yep. Um, rhinos. Uh, they got a job at Newsmax afterwards uh, and and, you know. And then she died. I think, I believe she might have died of COVID. No, that was being speculated about because she got COVID shortly before. And it may be related because COVID can give you heart problems, but she, she died of heart failure. Yeah, so you're right. But the reason why I'm mentioning COVID is because what Silk did instead was use this as an opportunity to say, uh, that she actually died of the COVID vaccine, That's but awesome. she did not want to say that she had gotten the vaccine, which I don't believe she actually got the vaccine. Mm -hmm. right. um, so wild. she was saying that Diamond got uh, the the vaccine shedding.
from someone else who was vaxxed. Oh, <laughs> wow. okay. that's and then awesome. that vaccine shedding gave her the same, you know, deadly right. vaccine uh, wow. disease. Dude, I love how that they, they, these people really are incredible. Even in death, yeah. She's yeah. like, no, don't miss a beat. Don't. Secondhand vax kills <laughs> Second people. Vax. Yeah. yeah. So here is Trump's uh, eulogizing these two women that did such great things for him. Thing and, you can get vaccine shedding, but you know, childhood asthma rates do not increase as a consequence of gas stoves in your home. Yeah. Don't ever say that because that's science and science is gay. <laughs> that's true. I've heard that. Yeah. It's so gay. I'm going to sound by that, Hassan. <laughs> thing and, and I don't believe, you know, they told me, I said, give me a little time because I have a lot of people waiting for me back in a place called Palm Beach, Florida. They said, give me a little time. What do you think it'll take? Oh, about 15, 20 minutes, sir, in and out. I said, well, it could take longer. This is a little longer than 15 minutes, right? <laughs> Thing and, and Master class. I don't believe, you know, they told me. That, giving a eulogy me a bitching time. about it being too long. Dude, back. that's, that's, but that's yeah. like Trump at his best. <laughs> he's, this is like the first time I've watched <laughs> Donald Trump and went, he's back. <laughs> Dude, he's back. He's Wait, I heard he's gaining on Ron DeSantis still. <laughs> Dude, he pops off like this three more times. It's over. Ron DeSantis <laughs> does not have a fraction of the charisma that Donald Trump no. has on his fucking pinky he's got toe. No risk. Ron DeSantis <laughs> will go up there and be like, "Oh yeah, eulogies. They're so long. Am I right?" And everyone's gonna be like, "Boo!" Be like, Shut Yo, the fuck this guy's up. a fucking menace. How yeah, dare he? What a complain. fucking loser. It's the it's the 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 meme like you know Riz. Like incredible Riz versus sexual harassment. When Trump does it, <laughs> right. it's fucking Riz. Yeah, he's, he's Riz, Riz up. <laughs> when Ron DeSantis, Ron Stinky. Yeah. <laughs> Not the sanctimonious. That was a mid ass line from he's Trump. He's moved on. He's moved on. Yeah. He realized it didn't Say he's bite. stinky, bro. Say Ron Stinky. I've been around him, folks. He smells he's, bad. He smells okay. terrible. He doesn't look it, but trust me, he stinks. <laughs> look at him. No, no, no. He, he, you could say that. You'd be like, what, what, what is he? What is DeSantis? What ethnicity? What nationality? He, I wonder. He looks like a white motherfucker to me. Yeah, I mean, you can just be like, look at him, he's Italian, he's greasy. You know how Italians <laughs> yeah, are! Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, old school, like, fucking ethnic... It's awesome. Ethnic memes like yeah. that. Yeah, but Italian English, English, English descent. So he said, he's what? Italian and English. Yeah, he's Italian! <laughs> <laughs> he's greasy! He's so greasy! You know how those Italians are! I'm, I'm from New York, I've known them. <laughs> he eats so many meatballs, people. He sweats yeah. marinara. He's stinky! It's disgusting. I he's got mold growing on him. <laughs> My goal is to get Trump to say Ronda Stinky at least one time. I've, <laughs> I've been saying it <laughs> so much. I wanted to like be in the space. I want him to like accidentally hear it from someone else, like one of his fucking staffers or some shit. That would like, be hey, awesome. Watching me and then, and then repeat. If he it. said it, it would stick. No, no, yes. no. Be stinky, Ron DeSantis. Yes. <laughs> it's so much better, Mr. Trump. Please hire me for your campaign. It's I, better I, than Sanctimonious. Yeah. yeah, I do like it. Um, but oh, yeah, he said it. Okay, good. So he went to this woman's uh, funeral, and they were doing hymns and stuff for three plus hours. <laughs> I gotta watch this again. Thing and and, his, and the, his, this is the first thing he says to complain about how long it was. I don't celebrating the life of Diamond. Believe you know they told me. I said give me a little time because I have a lot of people waiting for me back in a place called Palm Beach, Florida. You know Palm Beach, Florida. He's like he's like I'm so place. important. I'm too important. <laughs> a, a beautiful <laughs> place. Unlike this, I come here for twenty minutes. <laughs> Palm Beach. Maybe you've heard of it. <laughs> nice. I love that. <laughs> They said, give me a little time. What do you Yuck. think it'll take? Oh, about 15, 20 minutes, sir. In and out. I said, well, it could take longer. This is a little longer than 15 <laughs> minutes, right? He's getting Same. laughs, too. Yeah. They're like, yeah, fuck yeah. This yeah, shit was yeah, way too like, long. These are Boring. literally Diamond's friends and family. They're like, yeah. You're right. You're right. This, this fucking was, funeral is long. This memorial was way too long, bro. What the fuck's that about? I need to get home, dude. Football's on. <laughs> Yeah, no, he's he's so good. I mean, that's like, that is what made Trump Trump. Oh, so fucking. You know, good. he he gives you permission to be like ruthless. You know, what right? I mean? Yeah, but the way he does it is funny. He's yeah. not. You know what I mean? Like, because yeah, he's catty as fuck. You know, we love that Trump. I welcome you back. I'm ready for another Trump presidency. <laughs> which one? Of, which one is Diamond? Diamond. Uh, here, you have a picture of him on the left. On the left. This is Diamond. Yeah. Yeah. We love Puerto Rico. Listen, Diamond, uh, it was nice knowing you. Shorter 
Memorial's a little too long. Wait, a there's too long. <laughs> there's more, by the way, because the next um, one is actually even fun. Oh yeah, he, oh, okay. Shit, let's, there's more. Let me open the yeah, thread again. This is my favorite thing ever. Yeah, this part is really ruthless. sixty-nine. <laughs> a little too long. Wait, that's is it, it that's on it, the that's thread? Video. Yeah, yeah. Play that one. This video. Oh, this sorry, one is insane. And After Silk goes on and on about how much she loves Trump and all the great times they had together, Trump gets up and says this, I knew Diamond, but I didn't know Silk at all. I just learned about Silk. You're fantastic. <laughs> Whoa. Dude, he's known these women for like if, five years. If Silk died, I don't think I'd go to the memorial, frankly. I'm a busy man. No yeah. offense. No, he'd be like, Silk. We all know Diamond was carrying you. You're the one who kept saying, uh-huh, in the background. Mm. Diamond was the one who talked all the time. I loved her. You, not so much. Listen, I have to tell you, I think I speak for everybody when I say I wish you were in the casket, but uh, we can't control those things, we right, love people? You. You're very special. You're very special. Okay, okay, play it, play it, play it. Oh, God, I'm so And, excited. you know, the world has lost one of its brightest stars, real star, but I see that... Uh, we have another star who is equal to, but she stepped up and she is different. I'm, I'm serious. I thought I knew them both. I didn't. I knew, I knew Diamond, but I didn't know Silk at all. I just learned about Silk. You're fantastic. You're going to carry on deals, beyond, beyond anybody. Silk. Why are they clapping for that? These are her friends and family. They're sisters. I didn't know you existed. Why are they clapping? Oh, they're for sisters, that? right? I forget that. Yeah. Right. Well, you you can forget that. Trump, on the other hand, insane for him to even mention it at her fucking funeral. <laughs> Both. I didn't. I knew. I knew Diamond, but I didn't know Silk at all. I just learned about Silk. They've opened You're for fantastic. countless awesome. rallies for him. Uh, he invited them to the White House. Oh, here he is embracing them. Lovely. I, I don't. I don't I never know her. Knew Silk. <laughs> I don't know you. I'm sure she's a great woman. This You're is my special. first time meeting her. This is awesome. <laughs> Listen, I'm a this huge is fan. So crazy. I'm a huge fan of Siegfried. I don't know Roy. I, I've like, never look, heard of Roy he's before. Embracing Diamond. No love for Silk on That's that one. True. That's, That's true. That's that you can tell. That's true. You're right. Well, the top one. He's he's go to the top picture again. He's oh yeah. See, he's looking at Diamond again. Yeah. All right. It's just. It's, <laughs> I love how it might be true. <laughs> Maybe he really just never, her. He never knew yeah. she was there. Diamond, why do you keep bringing this other lady Who around? Who is this lady? <laughs> <laughs> what is she doing here, Diamond? Diamond on the soles of your shoe. Ooh, what's that? Uh, Paul Simon. Paul Simon, yeah. yeah. Hold on. They should have played that at her fucking. Funeral, bro. Simon Gar that's another one. I I'm a huge that? fan of Garfunkel. I don't know who Simon is. I've never heard of him. Never heard of Simon. Art Garfunkel is the brains behind that operation. <laughs> yeah, so that was fun. Uh, that was a good laugh. I'm so glad he's back. <laughs> More to come from President Donald Trump, 45 and 47. We do a little trolling. It's called We Do a Little Trolling. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> Uh, speaking Saturday at a gathering in North Carolina, Trump said, uh, oh, we already watched that. I yeah, see. Yeah. yeah. So let's move it on a little bit here. But, but, but I, so I've been following the Crowder Daily Wire stuff, but I haven't talked about it at all. We did. We yeah, talked did. about it uh, when it first popped off. Right, right. Okay, day, and okay. then we debated on whether or not, uh, the Daily Wire is netting a hundred billion revenue. Oh yeah. Yeah. So Have fucking you, stupid, bro. So it's come out that actually Steven was pissed because he actually wanted a hundred and twenty million dollars yeah <laughs> and 50 was lowballing he, yeah he vehemently denies that though just to be clear it was never about the money to him never yeah it was about just the about the love for the game the yeah. racism and not even like his own personal <laughs> racism which he claims but also young conservatives that want to be racist on the daily wire network it's a bad precedent yeah to punish people for being yeah racist. he's just he is for labor rights okay and labor wrongs oh i heard that people are accusing him of being a socialist yeah now. candace owens yesterday <laughs> called that's Stephen awesome. crowder a communist but she's kind of right <laughs> yeah because he is kind of advocating for worker rights right in a way it's like yo this contract's not fair where's my i need a yeah. fair contract yeah you know socialist uh benefits Fake a benefits package that allows you to say like the n-word three times live <laughs> like beetlejuice yeah, fair. That's a fair and balanced uh, yeah. demand to make. Well, here's Ben saying here. Let's see. We sent him this term sheet offering him $50 million over four years plus a two-year extension for 25 mil. 
you know, basketball player type money. Yeah. On November 2nd, Stephen called up Jeremy and said, I want $30 Did million. Dollars in his white? eyebrows? That's what I was going to say. His eyebrows are huge today, Some bro. caterpillars, man. Why is, his <laughs> eyebrows were not always that big. I think he, I think he fills them in. Why? Does it make him look distinguished? There's also speculation that he has lip fillers on TikTok. So it's probably... <laughs> lip what? filler? Yeah. Like oh, yeah, on TikTok, they claim he has lip kind of fillers. Juicy. A little bit of juice there. But how old is he? He's like our age. 42. No, uh, no. I think, <laughs> what? Shut the fuck. No, up. I think he's in his late thirties. Ben late 30s. Shapiro. Ben is thirty nine, and I know that our age is at forty two. I'm thirty. I'm not even thirty two yet, man. Yeah, bro. I, I meant R as in Ethan. No, me and Hassan are in our thirties. What are you talking about? I, I was referring to you. How old are you, Dan? I'm forty one. I'm a year younger than you. Okay. Go, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, his eyebrows. Those. That ain't right. That is not natural. This guy's doing the um, Steve. What's his name? Steve Harvey? On his eyebrows. You know, Steve Harvey has that insane mustache. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, he's got Steve Harvey. I think Harvey's he's filling it up a little bit. Yeah, he, I mean, Gotta he puts be. on makeup for sure. Okay, we love that. I don't that. know who told him that makes him look good, but... Somebody said, you look distinguished with fat fucking deep eyebrows. Yeah, it's like the Anthony Davis approach. <clears throat> Whenever I meet, you know, people who are saying, how long... Dude, you definitely do your eyebrows. What Whoa, the fuck yeah, are Look they? at the lips. I told you. Wait, Wait now I am buying yeah, the look filler thing. Yo, that is not natural, Benny boy. Right? No way. He looks like that guy. Yeah, he's got two. Yeah, no. I've been dating. They'll say two years. Mike, so what are you waiting for? For someone who has such a hard stance on closed borders and like a hardline policy on immigration, uh oh, he sure is letting that lip filler migrate. <laughs> okay, Queen. Ooh, <laughs> got him. Right, got him. Here, here got is him. Ben. Yeah. October 5th is when we sent him this term sheet offering him $50 million over four years plus a two-year extension for 25 million. Your walls, ben. You know, basketball player type money. On November 2nd, Stephen <coughs> called up Jeremy and said, I want $30 million a year and a bunch of changes to the term sheet. I'm not going to redline the term sheet. I'm not going to edit the term sheet. I just want you to send me a brand new offer. On November 6th, four days later, remember, this is after he's already sounded off. He's got the term sheet. He's had it for a month. November 6th was election night. You'll recall, if you're a Daily Wire fan, Steven Crowder appeared IRR. on our election night coverage. <laughs> Everything was very friendly. That was the Everything best. was very I chummy. Everything was great. November 14th or thereabouts, we decided that we couldn't meet his demands. That his demands were not rational in business terms, that he wanted too much money, and all the rest of it. So we let him know, you know, no hard feelings. We're still friends, just like we do in every contract negotiation. As Tim Poole said on his show last night, you know, we've had contract negotiations with Tim. And we disagreed and we went our separate ways and we still liked him. Tim still likes us. They're and trying to hire Tim. Also? Yeah, th that got kind of revealed in all of this, too. And that really did blow my mind because it's like, what? Li listen, uh, you know, it's not like I hold them in high regard, but Tim Poole seems below even them. I mean, you know they I mean? hired He's Candace so Owen, bro. Absolutely. Yeah, but she has a utility. You know what I mean? I guess. Uh, Tim Poole is just Right, well, he has a utility, too. He's liberal. He's their first Democratic Oh, their first, <laughs> their yeah, first yeah, left-wing host. He, he is uh, an important <coughs> liberal voice uh, to add in the conversation. God damn. You know, who else can come up with incredibly liberal ideas like a uh, 50-state sweep for Donald Trump? <laughs> yeah. And everyone should own a new Pelosi's husband is a gay, uh, has a gay sexual intercourse with uh, David DePP. I believe an individual citizen in this country has a right to own a nuclear warhead. That opinion, that, my friend, is worth $50 million and not a cent less. Bag of yeah. turd, you know, a flaming turd bag. <laughs> I just, I can't get over how much money these motherfuckers that's what make, I, dude. That's what I'm I, saying. I just like, oh, God. You're right. This grift really does pay. It does. And now, like, Daily Wire is almost like they're sucking them all up. Like, fuck. <sighs> they're trying to monopolize. God right. Damn. Which is, of course, the free market, obviously. 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 Free market works okay. best when there's no competition. But what's interesting is both Tim and Crowder said, whatever your insanely uh, lucrative deal is not enough for us. Like, Yeah, because they look to like, I think they all look at like Alex Jones and stuff and see that there are so many suckers that are willing to pay you. That, that have a lot of disposable income and just want to hear things that they already agree with. And um, no matter what happens, like you're gonna have, a, you're gonna generate a lot of revenue. I also, you know what? Actually, and this is something I say about myself. 
Uh, so maybe they have the same approach. Like, I don't give a shit about making $50 million uh, in over the course of four years when the amount of money I make already is more than enough. You know what I mean? I, there's no, my lifestyle is not going to genuinely change mm -hmm. from how much money I'm making now versus $50 million because like, I don't even have free time to do all the other stuff. Like I already do what I enjoy. So maybe they, they're like, yeah, I'd rather keep making a couple million a year and, and, you know, do the racism without any sort of editorial control yeah. rather than go under the daily wire umbrella and have like some level of editorial control and have to do like ad reads and shit. What do you think about this? And why, why, obviously I don't care if people get lip filler, but why is it interesting if Ben Shapiro got lip filler? Well, he, he, he presents himself as this like orthodox. And I mean that as like a, like a double entendre almost, you know what I mean? He's like yeah. a very conservative man, right? He's, yeah, he's, or, no, he's Stop orthodox Jew. He's orthodox Jew, but also like he's an orthodox man. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, it's, it's not necessarily, you know, trad values to, to care about your image to that degree to like get this aesthetic, you know, plastic surgery thing done. Yeah. And he, you know, just recently there was like a video of him, Daily Wire put out a thing where it's like, let's make Ben Shapiro react to cringe uh, TikToks of... Uh, Thanksgiving. Wasn't it Thanksgiving? Yeah, something like that or whatever. And, you know, he's uh, very judgmental of young people oh, that look non... Love that. that don't conform to uh, traditional beauty norms. Uh, uh, what, since when are men supposed to have big, plump, beautiful, kissable, fuckable DSLs, lips? DSLs, yeah. dude, yeah. <laughs> what are you going to use those big, beautiful lips for, Ben? I don't know. Sorry. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Peter's so November 14th or thereabouts, we told Stephen that we couldn't meet his demands. Fast forward another month. December 12th, he registered the site Stop Big Con. Oh. Hey, that's when he registered it. Oh. Remember, October yeah. 5th oh. is when he received the terms. November 14th is when we said we could not meet his demands. December 12th is when he registered Stop Big Con because he knew that three days later he was going to be announcing that he was leaving the blaze. He needed a plan and attacking us was the plan. December 15th, he announced he was leaving the blaze. A month after that, he texted Jeremy in friendly fashion to ask if they could talk. <coughs> On January 9th, he called <coughs> Jeremy and proceeded to tape him without permission. That was fucking... The fact that he recorded their call before there was any, like, contention is super... Uh, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> I mean, who would have thought that these guys who are like disseminating asshole propaganda would be assholes to one another? Yep. I mean, I, mean, I personally would never invite someone onto my show and pull a trick like that on them. <laughs> what? If Crowder were to call into this show, I would never pull a trick. Yeah, it would, it would yeah. be in total oh, good faith. Yeah. And yeah. God, totally. I'm, I'm slow I keep today. It, I keep it real with Crowder. Yeah. Every time. <laughs> Yeah, maybe he got that from you, actually. He, I got the it. old switcher what, what on the phone. What a fucking nightmare. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Um, no, he's a piece of shit, though. I actually think that the Daily Wire, as much as they're all scumbags, Crowder was, like, far way in the wrong in this situation. It's, like, crazy. That's my In a weird way, I yeah. see both sides of the argument. Yeah? yeah. You, you sympathize Worker, with right? Crowder a little bit? Well, I see Crowder's perspective because, like, I made a joke about this already, but, like, it's the Daily Wire is giving him 50 mil because he does, like, pretty much he says the N-word the long way. You know what I yeah, mean? okay. So, like, yeah, you're hiring me to be racist and get banned so that I can, like... You see his point. Yeah, you, you're hiring... If you're hiring me to be racist, then I'm going to be racist and get banned. But so If you understand that a part of my revenue-driving mechanism involves me getting banned off YouTube so I can drive more people over to the paywalled racism, the only clans, if you will, Then, and, and you appreciate I, that I do that. And Jeremy Boring did literally say, like, I love that you do the paywalled racism stuff, the piss off YouTube segment. It's such a big, I love that. It's a great segment. Like, we're such big fans of that here at the Daily Wire. Um, then, yeah, like, let it, that, that's his point. It's like punishing, I made this joke, but like, it's like punishing Steph Curry for, you know, Shooting three pointers, right? Like that's why he has the contract but then that I'm he sure has. They would have been like, okay, we'll we can remove this, but if we lower your pay. Well, yeah, it didn't even get to that point. Well, that's you're right. Like, 
Steven Crowder absolutely <laughs> is using this to launch. The thing is, like, yeah. an, an email list for himself. That's Look, for sure. What, why they he were did it. friends. They were they were negotiating in good faith. You know what I mean? Like, he didn't oh. have to accept the deal. Steven was not. No, Steven was not. Right? They yeah. thought he was. I, I hate to agree with Ben Shapiro here, uh, Daddy Daddy Eyebrow, but. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm Team Shapiro. One hundred percent. I think that Daily Wire guys, like, they're correct on <laughs> their assessment that like Steven Crowder just wanted to make a big bang here, and he just like threw away their relationship, their friendship, cast it aside for like a little bit of internet clout for a brief moment. So, is this actually benefiting Crowder? Like, are is is the is there an audience being fractured here at all, or people? They don't care, do you think? I, I, I was watch like I watched him on Tim Pool last night and I checked out his videos and the Daily Wire. I would say there's it there's a split going on in like the conservative community. Honestly, my feeling is it seems like it's leaning a little bit towards Crowder. Yeah. What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, because Which, the internet because the internet I mean, come what? on. What? <laughs> Ethan, Wait, they're so? fucking stupid. Like, everyone is yeah. stupid. We're all fucking dumb. But you're, like, extra dumb if you're the type of person who's like, you're right, you know, the the 14-year-old the trans teenager is running society. You know what I mean? Like, that, if that's your fucking moving, thing that you believe, tech, and if you're keep... an Stephen Crowder fan, like, that's the type of shit you believe, you're extra dumb. So, of course, you're going to fucking think Stephen Crowder is hey, this, like, bold, why? truth-telling hero. What do they agree with, exactly? So they think he's doing this for free speech. Exactly. Oh, it, it, no. He, he keeps insisting it's not about the money. And there's actually a clip coming. It's up not about the money. You're right now. That you'll see I need 120 million. Right. Well, he, he claimed. Here's the thing. He says there was never a counteroffer. That that's bullshit. The $120 million thing. However, in the Tim Pool interview, and this is in the doc if you want to pull this up because it's actually a pretty funny moment. He kind of fucks up. And basically lets out that his agent may have sent a counteroffer, and that's probably what they're all talking about. Yeah, but like, but he, as he's saying it, realizes that he's fucking up saying that, <laughs> and changes the subject like immediately. Here, let's take a look. I'm, I'm on your side on this one. I, everybody can know my bias. The reason that really bothered me no. is because I run a company. I know how much money we make. And there are people who assume yeah. that revenue equals money in your pocket profit. And it's like, no, 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 no. If they're giving him $50 million, it sounds so wonderful. They're assuming you. you're dumb. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure Tim's overhead is crazy. That's the other aspect of all of this. He keeps saying, he's like, it's not about the money, but also the amount they offer me is so insulting because they obviously, it's way too low. Bro, As if, if like... Stop. It's twelve and a half million dollars a year. He runs a fucking YouTube channel. Like it's not that different than yeah, what we do not, here. Like there's operational costs of like paying his uh, you know, racism producers yeah, to yeah. find like newer versions of bigotry. Like older versions of bigotry, I guess. This man is dead. But like other than that, you already have the cameras. You already have everything. Like exactly. those are those are costs that you already put you into your dude business. Out of, like a trailer. It's like Well, that's Tim Pool. Yeah, right, yeah, and he was cool. bitching about that too. I'm talking about Crowder, but yeah, I mean, he has a very like he has a staff, he has a set, he's got the cameras. You know, the show isn't that complicated. It's a three camera show or whatever. It's like fucking, how much is the, the worst overhead? part about this is like I stream, I stream minimum eight hours a day, seven days a week. Sometimes I take uh, you know Sundays off every once in a while. Okay. These motherfuckers are complaining about four hours of content for twelve point five million dollars. Four hours of content a week, man. <laughs> that's four sweet. hours. Are you insane? That's sweet deal. It's like that's nuts. That's nuts. Oh, dude, you don't understand the amount of research that we have to do to find new slurs. <laughs> That's, yeah. that's taking up 10 hours every day. We <laughs> have our race scientists in the laboratory. Yeah, they're cooking 24 hours ways. a day. Yeah, but even if you assume he has like a dozen employees that he's paying like handsome salaries to, which he's I doubt, up. which I doubt, but like let's just assume that he's paying them well and he's got like a dozen of them. We're still, he's still walking home each year with like six or seven million dollars in his pocket. It's not enough. You know? What about taxes? You think about that? I. I hadn't thought of that. You're there right. You I hadn't thought about the theft that occurred. <laughs> Wait, so here it is. By the way, how dead inside does he look? Like, I'm just going to be real. This man, there's nothing <laughs> there. 
Well, Candace seems to think she knows why, but we'll get to that. They're they're treating the audience like they're dumb again. Well, no, 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 a lot of people don't. No, but he, no, but don't understand thing. this. People don't understand because they're assuming that you won't go and do research. Look, fifty million dollar basketball money versus twelve million. If if uh, let's say Marvel says I don't know the new Thor movie is two hundred million dollars, is that Hemsworth's salary? It's that simple of an analogy. Yeah. But the issue here, and I'll let Gerald kind of talk about that more. The the issue here is like I think that these people at Daily Wire they've said that they're very business savvy. They're running a business. So, are they very business savvy? Um, and no, are they dumb and don't know that $12.5 million a year for an entire production house is what we're actually looking at? Or... Bro, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's like, no, you think that people are dumb. If you're trying to convince people that that's not enough money to put together a YouTube production studio... Right, and again and again, he keeps saying it's not about the money, but then he keeps coming back to, it's insulting. $12.5 million, the, are you the, kidding me? It just sucks because, like, crazy. If you're, if that's the value that you're going to be generating for a corporation, you absolutely deserve to demand that. Okay, I talk about this with like basketball player salaries all the time. People oftentimes forget that like players that get you know thirty million dollar contracts are actually still having their surplus labor value extracted by billionaires who own the <clears> fucking <throat> team who cannot throw a basketball. Okay, who cannot dribble. So like. But I just don't believe that he is generating no shot. I agree with twelve point five million dollars worth of revenue a year for the Daily Wire. No. I just don't like it's impossible. That's what doesn't make sense in my mind. There's no way. Especially so, like, after the expenses, because the, it's not even on YouTube. They yeah. have their own infrastructure. So they're paying like to have the servers to host his content. <laughs> yeah. So at a fundamental level, I understand the argument that he's trying to make. It's just that like his output that we're talking about in this circumstance is just like being a fucking piece of shit hate monger. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's weird. Are they lying when they say it's basketball money and fifty million dollars salary? I think Candace Owens at one point got up to like one hundred and forty or something. On the, I don't, I don't. So really, you said you wanted thirty right. million a year or one hundred and forty. And the only reason people people know that's not true, and you've seen the transcript. You ever see me once say, "Hey, it's about more money." There was never an offer sent. You're just, just bitching did. that it's not enough money. You literally just. Did. You're literally saying yeah. they're not giving me enough money to to, yeah. to do my my uh, super lavish but again, production. It doesn't require look. We found out when when Donald Trump was like making arguments uh, that just did not make any sense whatsoever, but people were still listening. That like, you don't actually have to have a consistent, uh, you know, line of thought here. You just need to be on the team. Mm. And Stephen Crowder is on the team of, I am more racist than the Daily Wire. I'm a, a you know bold truth teller. That and the Daily Wire is rhinos. They're fake. Which is why people don't even understand that immediate <coughs> contradiction. Like that's a, that's immediately he contradicted himself. He's like, I we need more money for this production. It's an expensive production, and then turned around and said, it's not about the money. Like what the fuck? Do you think our production is bigger or smaller than Crowder's? I think I, it's on the same level. If not, if ours, it's ours might be might bigger. Be bigger. Yeah. I think it might be bigger. Yeah, we put but out how, more content than him. How many employees do we have? I don't even think he needs full time employees. He does one show a fucking week. We have. Close to a dozen. I mean, what? There's like ten of us here. Ten, and then uh, you and Ela's twelve. Okay. And then we and then we have a couple people help with the socials as well. Okay, so, so mean, let yeah. me think here. I'll, I'll, can, is, would it be wise to give a a, a uh, estimate on our the cost of doing business here? I mean, that's totally your prerogative if you want to share that information. I have no clue. Let's so, see. So we have twelve employees. Well. I think I can estimate the salary on average. We're gonna put in like our mortgage on the building. And all that kind of stuff. Also more expensive. Because you're in Los Angeles. <laughs> Where's he shoot out of? Austin. Austin. Which yeah. is still expensive, but like ain't no fucking way is his uh is his real estate uh you know, his 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 mortgage that expensive. I would say we're probably looking at about one point five million dollars per year. Overhead? Yeah. Maybe more I would, I, maybe a little bit more. I, I would guess around the same. Yeah. And so if I'm getting twelve point five million or twelve million dollars a year, mm -hmm. that's like a drop in the bucket and also a tax deduction, obviously. So it's not like coming out of your pocket necessarily. So I don't think he spends that much on production, probably way less. No, I agree. I mean they 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 occasionally <laughs> do like uh sketches and stuff, but ninety nine percent of the time they're just sitting in on their set, you know? Their sketches are all like just wearing some outfit and doing some racist shit. Like, that's right. pretty much it. They don't, they don't like go out person anywhere and, and shoot, putting on politics. You don't understand. <laughs> <laughs>
Is there racism insurance? I mean, well, we need to invent that. You have, you know, liability insurance. You, you even have umbrella insurance in case you get sued. Yeah, Black I mean, I'm sure insurance. a lot of these a lot of these guys do have to take like fat retainers on like a legal team because they're they're both having to defend themselves regularly. Oh, I but didn't. But also, include... they do like mm. offensive legal moves all the time. Like Jeremy Boring mentioned that in his uh, video where he says like, "Well, that's." You know, this is a very expensive business. Like, we got to constantly sue the, the federal government. We got to sue, like, and right. that's something that they do. They weaponize the, a, a team of lawyers that they have on retainer against platforms like YouTube. Rumble does this shit all the time, too. Like, they all have, like, fat, uh, they have the worst lawyers known to man. These guys are not supposed to win any of their cases. Mm -hmm. They lose all the time, but uh, the point is to, like, you know, make work for them and make it seem like they're, they're, Dollars are being spent wisely and getting yeah getting signups on the mug club and shit like what was it last year? Crowder was su suing YouTube whatever happened to that that he never did that right. It's just that like why you But um, actually even... I didn't I didn't include our legal fees that would that would put us back. Well, yeah I guess I don't, know if, that's fair. I don't know if that's fair to include uh, that's the cost of doing business <coughs> Yeah, you could you I don't know how many people that. are suing him currently after I said look it's a non-starter if you don't change these these terms and please tell me that you're not doing this with other yep. people there was never anything after that where it was of course the non-starter is i'm not gonna i can't do five live reads because we do Can, commercials let I me can't let, let me i just want to ask one specific yeah. question because a lot of people are bringing this up and they're accusing you guys of only exposing them after Make they turn america florida that's yep. a fucking shirt bro no thanks down your counter offer I don't, is that Gosh. true or can you add more information to that yeah, I don't know why they're saying the time. Whatever. Anyway, um, I what part? I, I missed the, the part. That was literally. I think you just cut it you off. Literally right right you literally turned it off saying. right as you oh, were okay, saying. Okay, okay. There's a long. Let me just say, <laughs> wheelhouse. I'm, I'm on your side on this one. I, everybody can know oh, my bias. No, no, no if go If they're back, giving him $50 go, million, go up, it's go up to the, basketball the, money the Polish man. $12 million. It's like, I think that these people are doing production house. Ed. Make America Florida guy. He's my is favorite. Is that true, or <coughs> can you add more information to that? Yeah, that was it. He just yeah, asked I don't know him about the counteroffer. The timeline that he kind of gave was completely inaccurate. Yeah, there was um, never there was never any counteroffer from us. What Steven said was basically, look, guys, these are the terms that we have a problem with. Right. And if this, I don't care what the contract says dollar wise. If these terms are in there, that's bad, and you need to start again. This right. has to be pulled out. So there was no counteroffer because I'm seeing a lot a lot of you guys say there was the you agent. Guys the agent, I think my agent, the first they sent this term sheet. The agent said, "Well, if you're talking about 100 percent ownership, by the way, in perpetuity forever, meaning, and it's a six year contract with no option to negotiate. They have an option to extend for two years, six years, locked in at that rate. And again, right? How do you penalize someone <laughs> for money that they don't make? Yeah, they're not going to lose money he's, on you being yeah, demonetized. Now I get that I'm a special situation. The agent is demanded." And then he, he stops says, himself. Yeah. He's like, oh, the agent. The agent probably might have asked, uh, the, well, it's a six-year contract. Right. And you're locked in perpetuity. perpetuity. Yeah, yeah, no. So he, he did. He did go did. back yeah. to the counter. Yeah, he 100% did. Yeah. Counter -offer. So he's full of shit. Because he said it over and over again, that there was no, it was never about the money. There was no counter offer. Why don't they And they asked him directly, repeat? and he's like, well, my agent uh, does one of those. Dude, so Candace Owen, who will never be toppled on crazy, responds, and I guess she went fucking nuts on him, which I love. Obviously, yeah. She first implied that he was like gay. I think yes. yeah, that's that's in there. She first was like, "Oh, bless his heart." You know, you should all pray for Stephen. He's going through a lot right now. She apparently has a video of him sucking dick or something. What? She, what? She, oh my god! She's getting ready to drop the receipts. I mean, if she's got, proof, I'll die. I I will perish. Can you if imagine? That's the case. <laughs> Dude, that'd be awesome. Over the weekend, I was given a lot more information regarding Steven Crowder, a lot more background information regarding what could have possibly led to this moment. Mm. And not to my surprise at all, obviously, this really doesn't have anything to do with the Daily Wire. And his actions are a symptom of much, something much larger. And I want to choose my words very carefully here because I'm not angry anymore. Steven has a lot going on. <laughs> I guess it's the best way to say it. He has a lot going on, and that should be clear because people don't do stuff like this if there's not a lot going on They're in their so life. Nasty. You don't sell out your friends, so you don't record Oh, no, she's real. the worst. She is like so vile. Every single person involved in this is such a piece of shit, it's, and I love it. It's so fun. To I'm so happy to be on the outside <laughs> looking at how, like, 
conniving and how how shitty they are awesome. just awful humans it's awesome it's so fun for me yeah let's but the thing going. is um i'm really surprised because like the daily wire has been going on an all-out like info war against crowder and somehow he's still still looking good i find that interesting because you're forgetting it's a race to the bottom whoever is like dumber and and a more openly racist win. <laughs> right, okay. Dog whistles are for the intellectuals, you know. Save that. That's for the birds. What do you go uh, to college? Are you fucking nerd? You gonna you gonna tell me about how like systemic racism is actually a Marxist conspiracy? No, just literally be like black people are inferior. That's what they want. Got okay. It. So that is precisely the reason why Stephen Crowder is always going to uh, have a have an upper hand in this argument. That's like, crazy. I thought everyone was turning on. He is appealing to the dumbest people in the room. <laughs> there it is. Let's see what Candy has to say. These things are actions of individuals that are perhaps acting out of desperation. You have to dig deeper. You have to look deeper to fully understand the picture of why somebody might do that. <laughs> and it's certainly not because somebody is upset with a $50 million contract. <laughs> and because I now am more aware of certain information. Yeah, so... <laughs> he got a video of him sucking dick. Or no, I don't think so. I don't think it's that but I think she's like implying that he might be, you know, I don't know. I, I he, watched this and I thought, oh shit, like maybe she got she got the documents right on on something, maybe like uh, some word of mouth, but not like I don't think there's a video. She's like, yo, someone calls her. It's like, yo, I really need to talk to you about Crowder. So he's gay. Yeah. He's like, oh. But like, how did you not so know that already? Now. How, how did you not know that already? He's gay. It's homophobic not to know. <laughs> right, that's true. Rather than being angry, I would like to implore my audience and everybody that isn't paying attention to this situation not to condemn him, but to pray for him. Pray for him. Sometimes people need a prayer. Sometimes, Sometimes people need a scripture. You know, anyway. Stephen purports to be a Christian, and I believe that or maybe he, he cheated on his wife or something. To lean into his faith. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And that could it could be with a dude. That too. I think. Or yeah, either. I think if Stephen Crowder cheats on his wife, like it's probably with a man. He was smoking I, I, meth in a motel room with a no. gay prostitute. I don't think he's a meth guy. His little heart would give out. <laughs> That's true. He doesn't have the heart to do. What meth. drugs can he do with a bad heart? I don't fucking know. But, huh? Yeah, I, not a lot of good ones, probably. No uppers. No uppers? Yeah, so what's yeah. left? Opiates? Yeah, I mean, But I this, this did, it's giving pray the gay away. Like, sure. that's what I got out of this. Like, it was like, pray for, for sure. him. Bless his heart. Bless, bless your heart. Bless his gay, bless this man's weak little gay heart. Pray that it keep ticking there, boy, so it can live to touch another yeah, day. a lot of, uh, AB <laughs> pointed this out, but, like, a lot of conservatives do uh, abuse bars. Like, they do Xanax. Oh. They do Xanax. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's they, big, love, yeah. They, they yeah. love downers like that. Actually, I Xanax is probably good for his heart because it slows it down. It gives it a break. Yeah. Right. Um, wait, let's finish it. We let's, are straight. There's a little bit left in here. <laughs> and uh, I am certain that in the near future, more it's information Zabers. will come out. I do not think it is my place to say more than that. Well, probably what Bill I should say is I am unsure <laughs> at this moment if, if it is my place to say more than that. You know, I love that she reserves the I right. Feel she in like corrects defense, She's like, actually, you know what? Should be said. It's not time for me to release this Bill information the yet. fucking T sis. I mean, it, it just sucks because like if this was real big shit, I think the Daily Wire would launch the nuke on him. But, mm -hmm. like, they let Candace do it because Candace is, like, Eesh, she's, yeah. like, the lower rung. She says, like, unhinged shit on a daily basis. Attack dog. Yeah. For them. We have credible evidence that Steven Crowder is a homosexual. And then she turned around <laughs> and said he's a communist the next day. Like, your follow-up was weak, Candace. <laughs> Give us the goods. Yeah. Give us the juice. Come on. Candace Owen responds to the Tim Pool appearance the next day, pointing out he basically accidentally admitted... To ask him for 120, 120. I saw that too, Candy. Me. I saw the same thing. Mm -hmm. Whoa, she like that's kind of like a. It's a bathrobe. That doesn't look like clothing. Like day. yeah, she got a bathrobe mm. on. You know, in that last video, I was admiring her outfit, and I noticed the chat was too. Um, she was oh, there. was she popping off? She was popping yeah. a little she bit. Had a, but she had a good outfit. This I don't one, know if this one works. I mean, this one's fine. Olivia, uh, thoughts? It looks like I a think, robe. I think, I think Candace Owens right. is a stylish. Go ahead, Olivia. You tell I, us. It definitely looks like a robe. If it's a shirt, it's a cool shirt. Okay, okay. She's a horrible monster. <laughs> of a, uh, she's a horrible monster, piece of shit, mm -hmm. an attack dog for white supremacists, you know? 
But. She is the black voice of, of white supremacy. But, you know, she is kind of stylish sometimes. It's a cool she looks good. Shirt. She's very pretty, you know? Oh, yeah. Very beautiful. I can't get over the things she says. It's just, I can't. I, That's I what's kind of special wrong. about her, though. I cannot see her as like a. a, a I cannot attribute any further positive uh, values to her. <laughs> no, Talk she, to me, baby. <laughs> Talk to yeah. me, baby. Chill, Vin. She's so fucking beautiful. Chill the fuck <laughs> out, bro. You don't think you can save her, son? I no, had the great luxury no, of coming. <laughs> Vin, was chill. That if he received this term sheet and he was just so outraged by the terms and it was completely a non-starter, why did he come back to the Daily Wire with a $120 million offer? And what you'll see is that he says, we never did that. And then he very quickly says, maybe my agent or manager did do that mm -hmm. and then changes the subject very True quickly, queen. which is maybe my agent did do that is essentially you saying, yeah, that happened. We countered. Take yes. a listen to Steven Crowder. Thank you. Pop so off. there was no counter offer because I'm seeing a Whoa, lot. Of Candace does not get a lot of views. 44,000. I wonder how much they paying her. Probably only $10 million a year. <laughs> yeah. Weak. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? She doesn't get shit for views, dude. Well, you know, there's a gender pay gap and a, and a race pay gap at the Daily Wire for sure. You we know need the I'm audit. Saying? Oh, yeah. yeah. When Coming you a lot of you guys say there was the agent guys. the agent i think my agent the first they sent this term sheet the agent said well if you're talking about 100 ownership by the way in perpetuity forever meaning and it's a six-year contract with no option to he, negotiate they have an option for to extend sure just totally said that they countered for two years six years so locked obvious. in at that rate yep. and again right how do you penalize someone <laughs> for money that they don't make they're not going to lose money on you being demonetized now i get that i'm a special situation but they said this is demanded of everybody so that there you go. It's no, 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 no. Absolutely. I think Nothing my agent maybe again. It was about whether or not <coughs> he, it's going to be he six. He was floundering. He literally just said, "You don't lose any money if I get demonetized." Yes, they do. Of yeah, course, of they, course do. they do. The <laughs> like because they take that revenue and it's and so they're no longer getting that revenue and they pay you. So yeah, they're losing money. Yeah, it makes total sense. Like cheers. Pretty obvious, should be very obvious to every single person that essentially what he's saying is, well, maybe my agent, yes, your agent got back and said $120 million. So it was a starting conversation. You knew that this was taking place. And I don't even, like I said, I'm past angry with the situation. I do feel bad for him because I know more of what's going on in the background. And love I do that. believe that this is a man that is spiraling. But I, it's Yes, <laughs> I love that. Yeah, she hit that again. So oh, dirty. I love when she hits that button. Oh, come on, give us, it, give us the juice. Give us the good shit. If it's spiraling behind the background, I do think it has to do probably Probably with his marriage falling apart, right? I mean, what else could it be? Yeah, that Which could is be. cool too. I'm down for that for him. <laughs> yeah, does perhaps. He have kids? Perhaps he, it he came out that he kids, wasn't so. celibate oh, well, until then. marriage, and uh, you know, anything you know, bad happening to him, I'm down with. Yeah, sodomy is still sex, Stephen. Okay, gay. Even if done with a man. Are you sure? <laughs> Just saying. Because I thought you could. I thought sodomy was like a. It's a, sin. a loophole. It's a, a different the type poop of hole, loophole. Yeah, loophole. <laughs> Exactly. The poop. Exactly. I, like, I didn't know. I just I thought if I if I did the poop hole loophole with a man, it was doubly not a sin. You know. That's a big game, right. man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just a bit gay. It's so important that we inject truth into this, and right. you cannot say that you were so offended by a contract, so offended, so mortally wounded by the concept of a contract that your agent, as if you are too, you guys don't speak, She's right. went back and said, okay, 120 million. And then that, you're right. After that, the Daily Wire did, never came back with any other term sheet. It was never a contract whatsoever. And then the second thing, which I thought was borderline delusional, was him likening <coughs> himself to James O'Keefe when people are rightfully outraged that irrespective of what you thought about James O'Keefe, the great uh, civil rights leader of Ver Veritas. Yeah, Project Veritas is very own, you know? Mm. When is he <laughs> joining Daily Wire, I wonder? Oh, God. <laughs> you know, he's got the big-ass contract bending. She, you would record your friend. He's in trouble, isn't And he? then release. Isn't he, like, being investigated? Uh... He is. I hope he goes to jail. Oh, that God, sucks. that'd be so sick. That, that would be so Or maybe it's a lawsuit or something. That crypto I, I, shit. I think, I he think might O'Keefe be... is in some trouble. He might be one of the only dudes on the right of like the right wing popularity that's as as disgusting as Candy. Yeah. Um, September, a jury ruled against Project Verit. Yeah, they got sued. Uh, it was only for, well, I say only, but one hundred twenty thousand dollars. You're in oh, trouble. Okay. That yeah. crypto probably shit. Enough, probably enough enough to sink them. Crowder fucking drops that kind of money on the grocery store. Yeah, that's store nothing. Every day. <laughs>
chump change. <laughs> contents of the conversation chopped up so people can't discern the context whatsoever. Here's what he had to say about that. If you had the ability, if someone's going out saying, way. let me read the comments. Let's see what Candace, I hope you see this. At the age of six to seven, my mom took me to us. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Can we stick to the goddamn topic? 30 minutes. How is this a podcast? No wonder no one watched it. 30 minute podcast. No. Cheers. I don't think it's the whole thing, right? It says episode 79. Oh, I guess it is the whole thing. Maybe part of it's paywalled on the. Uh, on Daily Wire. Yeah, she's like, I will get super races behind the paywall. Yeah, don't worry. So check in, you know, tune in for that one. Eight dollars a month. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, we do that at Fear End as well. I, we, I, I saw that, so when I was on, they hit me with the, if you want to finish this podcast, you got to pay, you got to go on Patreon. Yeah. And I was like, oh, fuck, we should do that. Yeah, that's how we do it. We do, we, we shoot a one, one take episode. That's good. And then we cut it in half. And then we you get that real. Every episode. Yeah. Oh shit. Let me finish. <laughs> nope, that's why I pay. also like. That's why I also pair it with like <laughs> an appearance on the Twitch stream too. Like I wanna, I wanna max out on like, uh, the value to the, to the content creator who's coming on. You know what I mean? They get like, the the ultimate boost that way. I wonder if we could do like one. And then they come on and they shit all over my production. Listen, at least it was paywalled. You know what I mean? They shit on all my production on the Twitch stream. They go, oh wow, this sucks. Nobody cares about these things that you're watching. No, no, no. Or I saying. wasn't shitting on the production. I thought, come on, it was funny. I started my <laughs> member stream talking about what I did in the morning. I was oh yeah, yeah. I was, did I oh yeah, do like Hassan. Yeah, so I was like, boring. I, I said, Boo, I had eggs. no one cares. I said, I woke up this morning. I had eggs. Good morning, I said hi my, to my queens dog. of TikTok above 18. I took a piss. You know. Somebody said, you want to hear Ethan say the B, uh, the B word? Pay $5.99. Oh. What's the B word? Oh, you know. Bomb, 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 but I was thinking maybe we should do that, like a members only segment. Because not to cut the, like the whole app, but just be like, hey, members, we're going to do one extra segment where, you know, we'll watch prolapses or something. All right, well, we'll let's, let's talk about it. Talk about it later. <laughs> just a thought. I like that idea. Zach, you're just throwing it out there at random. No, it works every time. <laughs> Zach, don't listen to Dan. I love it every time. I got you. Yeah, you know what's up. <laughs> um, okay, I guess that's about it for now. On that front, but I'm waiting for the tea to drop on Crowder. Yeah, speaking of people who are, uh, you know, living a double life uh, <laughs> as queens, uh, George. Oh, Santos, good segue. Nice. You know, George Santos, my king and queen, as a matter of fact. Yep. Depending on whether or not she's in dragon slaying. George Santos, look at this guy, man. This guy, I don't know how much you guys know about. We haven't talked on the show before. Okay, nice graphic. Wow, Why this is bullshit. I, Why are you always lying? No, I disavow. I what? disavow this. This is George Santos, a lying dumbass. No, he's he's the king. He's the king. He is the goat. You stand him? Yeah, I stand him. I see what you're saying. <sighs> Literally lying. I, yeah. I am completely fascinated by this guy. I just, I he is a it. compulsive, pathological liar. He cannot stop himself. It's a medical condition. You guys yes. are being ableist. It is. It is. <laughs> Also, do also, yeah. So this yeah. guy, he won, he won a seat in Congress, and people, and the, the New York Times started do, trying to look into his background, like who is this young upstart conservative, and they started fact checking his resume, like his school credentials, his work credentials, and they started to look, uh, slowly find out that every single fucking thing this guy has ever said about himself is one hundred percent wrong. Uh, Top to bottom. Just not even wrong, like a flat out lie. Like this guy lied. He's lying. This guy said he went to a prestigious uh, Horace Mann school. He's the type of dude to lie about his birthday for no reason. Yeah. Like, like just shit that doesn't even give him like an immediate tangible benefit. Mm -hmm. He lies about everything and anything he can. Yeah. Dude. I had a friend like this. I don't think his glasses that are real. I think even his fucking <laughs> glasses are fake. I think you might fake. be right. <laughs> 
a big lie. Yeah, I, I, um, I knew a person like this. I had a, I had a good friend that uh, that really was a pathological liar. And like you said, he would just lie about shit that it's just like it's nobody cares. And everybody like, knows it. Like everybody knows you're a pathological liar too at that point. Yeah. And it's just like you still keep doing it. Like what yes. the fuck? Yeah. He can't stop himself. So he he lied about his high school, which I guess is a prestigious private high school, Horace Mann School. Uh, they lo they contacted the school. That was a lie. He obtained a high school e equivalency diploma. So he got a GED? Yeah. yeah. So he, he didn't even, I mean, you know, whatever. No hate, but he didn't even go to high school, apparently. Yeah. He claimed about where he went to college. He claimed he graduated with a degree in economics and finance from Burek. Baruch. Baruch College. College. In yeah. Um, and, but of course, he also said he was a star on the volleyball team. That part is, is the awesome. best. <laughs> he said he was a he was a volleyball star, but he got a knee surgery. And the reason why he said that was because he wanted the Nassau County GOP chair, Joseph Cairo, to like him and want him to play in their intramural volleyball team. He better be good though. He's not gonna be able to. But that's fucking insane. That's like a what benefit are you getting at that point? Like, why did you lie about such insane. an insane thing? How tall is insane. he? How tall? Because I think to be like a pro volleyball player, you got to be like really tall, right? Yeah, you got to be then, like super athletic. And tall. Yeah, and then he admitted that he did not graduate from an, in any institution of higher learning. Uh, my favorite part of the saga was 9-11. Shocker. Oh, yeah, so here he goes. He died about his mom dying on 9-11. Yeah. Um, the campaign website, uh, Santos wrote that his mother, no, the first living. female executed at a major financial institute. Executive, not executive. This 9-11 this saga is like, I mean, it's it. Larry David. It, it's literally Larry David. Yeah. It's a Larry David plot line. Like, he, he first said his mom died in the fucking towers. And then he, <clears throat> and then he, he he followed it up by saying, "No, his mom was actually uh, not in the towers, but he was, uh, but she was in, uh, you know, downtown at the time, and died years later from cancer because of the, you know, right, the, the dust, dust. toxic yeah. uh, inhalants from 9/11." Then we found out that his mom wasn't even in fucking America at the time. She was actually in Brazil at the time during 9-11. Awesome. His mom wasn't even in the country. <laughs> That's some crazy stolen and valor. She, and she wasn't working in finance or anything. She was a housekeeper. Yeah. So it's wild that he just lied about that. You know, there's What benefit do you there, get from that? D the fact of lying that your mom died at 9-11 is awesome. <laughs> But, like, I see kind of, like, there's a, paint, a picture of, like, someone who comes, like, from a not a privileged life at all, who's probably deeply insecure with his heritage, probably because, well, you see how people treat AOC, who actually has come a long way on her own merits, and uh, you see how people treat her, especially conservatives. So, yeah, he's insecure about his beginnings, but the level to which he lies is absolutely nuts. Um, this guy is a manipulative, <laughs> lying con man. His mother actually, uh, a, she, uh, she has filed a visa to return to the United States. Um, his mother actually is a domestic worker, or home care nurse. Yeah. And she's still alive, right? No, uh, no, she passed away. And I think, oh. yeah, that's actually, if you go into this, in, this here, I'll just pull it up. So after all of this, all this lying, putting it on his campaign site and stuff, he oh, tweeted no. this in 2021, December 23rd, this year marks five years since I lost my best friend and mentor, that mom. Add up. Right. So five years previous to 2021 is this, not 2001. This man. She could be, fu but, but he could be lying about her mom dying. His mom died. Even this could be a lot. I guess at yeah. this point, everything's because on the everything table. Everything is yeah. like every single part of this is yeah. is a falsehood. Yeah. That's so true. you have to assume <laughs> that he's probably lying about his mom even dying. His mom's probably alive right now in Brazil. <laughs> um, speaking of Brazil, there's a. I mean, first of all, let's talk about the Goldman Sachs thing. Yes, he, his campaign bio stated that he worked at Goldman Sachs and Citigroup, but representatives for both companies told the Times they had no record of his employment. <laughs> Don't know why you didn't talk about how he lied about being Jewish. By the way, I, oh yeah. Like he, That's he, a weird one he too. He claimed man. that he was a Ukrainian Jew. Mm -hmm. 
That's like, fucking weird. That's the bingo. Like he hit literally every fucking, you know, notable marker for like liberals living in Nassau County to be like, well, maybe I'll take a look at this guy. You know what I mean? Wait, is he gay? Is he yes. gay? Yeah. So he's probably straight. No, no, no. He's actually gay. I'm pr pretty sure? sure he's seen the video of him. No, Crowder? but I have seen how he responds to drag queens on Twitter, and that boy is gay. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Okay? Fair enough. He, he's like duking it out with queens, and yeah. like has deep knowledge of RuPaul's Drag Race that, yeah. like, gay. as 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 gay adjacent <laughs> as I am, even I don't fucking know. Like, yeah. he was like talking about like you know season uh, victories and shit. Gay. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. he pretty much concocted this like perfect. Uh, I don't know, victim. Yeah, he overcomer. said he is a Ukrainian Jew that like fled Nazi persecution. That was a lie. And then <laughs> That's crazy. When called out on it, he said he's Jewish, which is another like. That's a Larry David thing. That's, that's another. Crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I didn't he, say I'm Jewish. I said I'm Jewish. He is very. <laughs> The funniest thing ever. Yeah, I can't that, that does make that. me. It's like it's like when <laughs> Kanye West had that like impeccable timing, the incredible timing on a joke that like, like you know that makes me feel like George Santos is literally Larry David. Is Larry David character? Yeah. It's like, uh, no. There's uh, Ethan just asked if there's a video of it. It's not. It was in a written interview oh, that shit. he said that. that yeah. Sucks. yeah. Um. He said he's never claimed to be Jewish. He just said he's Jew. Ish. Um, every, I'm Jew. Every part of he that goes, is. I'm Jew. I didn't say I'm Jewish. I'm Jew. And he also, he also. I'm like, I'm, Jew. I'm Jewish. Like I'm... he lies about <laughs> so many verifiable things. That's like, so awesome. like victims of 9/11. There's 3,000. Like you can immediately figure that out. <laughs> right. Like Holocaust. Like records of that exist. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't lie that your family fled persecution when they were in Brazil during the fucking Holocaust. You know <laughs> they, what I mean? Well, they had a hard time wrong. in Brazil, and uh, yeah, sure. Which some... is another. It's like a Larry David joke. Yeah. My my family suffered a lot during the Holocaust. Yeah, we, in Brazil. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they were still suffering. I yeah. didn't. I didn't say where they suffered. Yeah. The whole world suffered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. We were all suffering, we all and suffered. it was a difficult yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. Um. He uh, helped run an alleged hedge fund Ponzi scheme, which, of course, you got to do that. He started that working at a Florida investment firm immediately. Florida investment firm, you know that shit is not run right, okay? You know there's a Ponzi scheme yeah. called Harbor City Capital. When he was employed there in 2020, Santos said he managed a $1.5 billion fund and bragged record returns of 12 to 26%, depending on the type of investment. <laughs> Boom. Definitely Wait, he a said, Ponzi. Hold on. He said he had 12 to 26% returns. Yeah, Ponzi. That's literally, <laughs> if you're getting that kind of returns, you're... you're um, you're getting made off. Yeah, you're yeah. you're getting made off. That's yeah. true. One hundred percent. It's a Flo dude. It's a Florida investment firm. Sorry, like <laughs> you know what you were getting into, retirees. <laughs> yeah. Make Don't America do that. Florida, bro. Stop. <laughs> um, the company's promise that a full bank guarantee on investments was bogus. Deutsche Bank claims it is a complete fraud and not signed by the bank officer on the document. In April 2021, the Securities and Exchange Commission accused Harvard City of being a Ponzi scheme that stole 17 million dollars from investors. The company's assets are currently in mediation with an independent receiver appointed to manage them. <laughs> this is all going on while he gets yeah. elected to Congress. Yeah. Like, holy Financial fuck. disclosure. So this is the spicy part. This is what I, I personally believe will probably get him clapped. Because, like, Republicans are disgusting freaks. They're sick perverts. They will never impeach uh, one of their own when they're a valuable vote. And right now there's a slim majority in the, con in, in the House of Representatives, as we saw with the Never Kever saga, right? Um, so for that reason, they're never going to like actually impeach him, but he could technically go <coughs> to jail or there could come a point where he is, it is impossible for him to continue being a representative. And I believe that that's campaign finance violations. Yes. Um, so it's worth mentioning that. Meanwhile, as all this is coming out, this guy ran his whole campaign. He was elected by the people based on a total farce. This guy has no experience, he has no credentials. Um, and meanwhile, Kevin McCartney, McCartney? McCarthy, McCarthy. This is, McCarthy. is, 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 is very own. supporting him and assigning him to a um, committee, position. committee position. Yeah, and, and part of the reason why is because he was like a loyal vote for Kevin uh, in, the, in the Never Kever saga. <laughs> so now there's a financial disclosure from a 2022 congressional campaign show that he claimed he made between 3.5 million and 11 million from the company before it was dissolved last year, which is a lie. Then also records show that Santos donated over $700,000 to his own campaign in 2022. Now, if it's your actual money that you have in your pocket, 
you know, American laws, you can't stop that. It would be allowed. However, his income when he ran previously in 2020 was $55,000 a year. Hmm. Now in 2022, filings, his net worth is spiked to $11 million what? after his involvement with the alleged Ponzi scheme. <laughs> and he's Weird. claiming that he paid his own... <laughs> He's claiming that he paid his own campaign to the tune of seven hundred thousand dollars from the company that he was running a Ponzi scheme with, Harbor Capital. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Why the fuck you lying? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Guys, they, yeah. So he's a he's a pathological liar and a straight up criminal. Yeah. Reporting from Talking Points Memo showed that Santos campaign staffers charged a credit card on file for donors without their permission and oh racked up huge God. unexplained expenses and payments to anonymous <laughs> as well as payments to themselves. Dude, he, he also rules. has another he has a history of like misusing, you know, GoFundMe and donation funds. He added like a 501c3 that he set up for rescuing animals okay, or saving animals I, and paying for animal surgery. A uh, a veteran had like a service dog. I have that video. We're going to watch that yeah, video. Yeah, a veteran had a service dog. He literally uh took <laughs> Here, he let's raised watch it. Three thousand dollars for him. Let's watch the video. This one, I watched this for the first time when Shredder was in the hospital, out. and I was like, "I'm gonna fucking Congress. this guy needs to go down." This is the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> restrain stealing money restrain from yourself, Ethan. Stealing. I know. I'm about to get banned right now. Yeah. We have no, no don't. strike, by the way. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't. We have do no it. strike. Let's You're way get too weird. comfortable with this no strike business. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Muted you. That's bombing up and bombing. The mic's muted. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna release you. Be no, good. You're, I'm good. Be good. But I was gonna say, like, this guy stole like millions of dollars from people. Listen, I don't care about that. What he did to this dog is unforgivable. Mm-hmm. Y'all are not ready for this. George Santos, claiming the congressman promised to help his service dog get life-saving surgery in 2016. But after about $3,000 of donations poured in, the Navy veteran says Santos stopped replying to his calls, to his texts. The veteran never saw a dime. His dog passed away months later. And the fundraiser was set up under a charity group that Santos actually mentioned on his campaign website. You see it here. <laughs> in a paragraph it. that has since been deleted. It claims <laughs> that he rescued 2,400 dogs and 280 ca cats. Santos also touted the charity in this interview. I mean, we, we had a great organization. We were able to save animals, dogs, cats, horses. I mean, at one point- This I guy is legitimately psycho. Wait, I, I can't watch this whole 10 minute video, but- uh here, uh, All right, I guess we're almost to the, the, uh, the meat of it. Yeah. Eight baby jumping goats <laughs> in my car. There is no record of this group in the IRS database, nor is there one among the registered charities in New York or Florida. And the website GoFundMe, where this fundraiser was posted, by the said way, that the by organized... The, way, the name is so fake, it reminds me of George Costanza's uh, The Human Fund. Uh -huh. Right. He's like, uh, saving dogs. He is George Costanza. <laughs> yeah, he totally is. He totally he is. is. Larry David. This, right. This is oh my god. Down to the fucking. I feel like the sweater vest look is like a mm. like that's some shit Larry David would wear. He does wear April the content. Oh, of course. He yeah. he wears the long sleeve tees and he'll put a uh, he'll put a suit over it. You know what I mean? Suit <laughs> yep. jacket over the long sleeve tees. I feel 100%. like this is a look too. This is exactly what George wore when he worked for the Yankees. Stop laughing. It's not funny. <laughs> As her failed to respond to all their inquiries about where the funds went, never gave any proof of anything, and so they banned Santos's account from the site. This comes in the context of Santos' apparent lies on everything from this charity to where he went to college, where he worked, even his claims that his grandparents fled the Holocaust, and it goes on and on. The House Republican leadership continues to stand by Santos tonight, putting him on two committees just this week. The, I mean, we put, we are, By the way, Democrats are so stupid for like not using this. Like I, if you're a Democrat worth their salt, why aren't you weaponizing this daily? Like I, I would only talk about George Santos. Yeah. But like, do you Republicans want to fucking act like you're pure? Meanwhile, you got this shit going on. Like get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Uh, today, do you Rep think Republicans would ever allow something like this no, to happen to the Democratic Party without them oh, using man. it? Tucker Carlson would they, only talk about. And this. also, they would get the Dems to. To, yeah. Oh, they would. Dems would have made him resign the next yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They would have forced him out. Yeah. But, I mean, they. The perfect example of this is Al Franken. At the time when Roy Moore yeah. was being credibly accused of being a pedophile in fucking Alabama, the police made him 
stop going to the mall because mm-hmm. he was constantly, you know, uh, <laughs> trying to pick up pick young up girls. young yeah. girls at Jeez. the mall in his like local mall. Republicans turned around and and uh, had Fox <laughs> News uh, radio host uh, that that used to do tours with Al Franken come out and be like, oh, Al Franken, you know, took this like weird photo with me many many years ago and then democrats in unison collectively were like all right you're done you're out and al franken resigned yeah you know what i mean i know and like yeah sure al franken weird uh uh, did some weird shit okay i'm i'm not exactly fond of the person uh in particular or his politics but ultimately I'm, i'm using this as an example to show you like how what what it takes for Democrats to like immediately uh, fire off uh, for someone from their ranks and how quickly they get duped into this cycle uh, versus the Republicans will always stand by. They stood by Roy Moore. They literally this weaponized was, the Al Franken dude, shit. Roy Moore <laughs> was literally banned from a mall, you guys. <laughs> In Alabama, dude. Like <laughs> it was Alabama, it's like incest and pedophilia is like a part of the culture. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Oh, here's a recut actually of the of uh Yeah, I didn't remember this scene. Interesting. <laughs> there it, it fits is. right in. That's valid. Really does. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. Now, Rich Ossoff, the Navy Another veteran who is making the yeah. claims against Santos, and Michael Bell, the founder of the New Jersey Veterans Network, who tried to intervene and get the money from Santos. So, look, I'm, I'm so glad Navy to speak Bruce. to both of you. And, and Rich, you know, you served in the, in the U.S. Navy. I know <laughs> your service dog, <laughs> Sapphire, Jimmy was Lee your savior flavor? and so, much, know, so important in your life. Because he's from New Jersey. Oh, you're too, <laughs> you're sound by, you're, you're way too advanced. You're, you're, you're on another, another plane, plane, bro. This is why the American military is losing wars, bro. These two fucking... Thumb looking dudes <laughs> couldn't get money, couldn't get three thousand dollars out of George Santos. The fuck? <laughs> you they should have especially just taken the, down. the New Jersey veteran guy. Like, what are you doing? Uh, did they, didn't um, he? I geez. think they didn't know where he was. I think, I think he talks about it in this, but I'm pretty sure they couldn't find him. Like he, he straight up was like, gave yeah, him a just false like we couldn't find Osama. Oh, I see. Yeah, I exactly. See. <laughs> something to say about that. George Santos too. is in a suburb of uh, in Pakistan right now. Yeah, next to the fucking Pakistan Annapolis. <laughs> Tear, you, 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 you wanted to bring her. I had to bring her. Yeah, it's my baby right his there. The That's all I have left of her. And. You know, that's fucking when George Santos, bro. who at the time, I guess you knew him as Anthony DeVolder, when he right. was going to help you to, to save her, she was suffering from cancer at the time. What did he promise that he was going to do for Sapphire? He was going to use his uh, charity, uh, his 501k, Friends of Pets United, to um, raise raise funds over GoFundMe. Cute ass um, dog. He so said sweet. he was very, um, so sad. very respected. He was very, um, he, he had, he had his feelers out and it, with his charity it would help me very much to get to get the uh uh money in a sooner amount of time than later um you were homeless at the time i was homeless at the time i had broken an ankle really bad couldn't work for a year and a half so i couldn't pay my rent and i was evicted i was living in a tent on the side of route nine that's the american dream right there my friends yeah you go to war you get fucked up you come back you're Dog you know dies. you're additionally traumatized by being fucking homeless you know it's great good stuff American dream, baby. This <laughs> Who then, then becomes a, 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 a my dog. house of representatives. Oh, awesome. Dog. Um, and she had already had that growth growing. It was getting bigger and bigger by the minute, it seemed. Um, I finally decided to take her to the vet to see what they could do to have it, take, have it removed, and they gave me a $3,000 quote. Um, I was homeless. I didn't have any means to pay for that at all. Uh, so one of the vet techs in the place uh, said, hey, I know this guy. Um, he runs a charity uh, and he saves a lot of animals. Um, and she was like, you want me to hook you up with him? So she took pictures of me and Sapphire. She sent them to Anthony DeVolder and uh, the, the GoFundMe started. Uh, it was up and running. I put it on my Facebook page. Uh, my friends and family donated to it. They shared it. Um, I had a lot of my Navy buddies that what I had What I don't understand is like, years. what kind of fucking charities were you take his friends and family raised the money? How's that charity? Yeah, he set up the GoFundMe. It's all, it's all him. He set up the GoFundMe. You don't understand anything. He did everything. A GoFundMe, setting up a GoFundMe is very difficult. Okay, okay. is that how he got it? Very him? difficult. Okay. And then there's the cost of running the business. It actually, much to everyone's surprise, it, it is exactly the amount of value that they raised. The amount of dollars that George Santos raised, he had to dump back into 
the operational cost. <laughs> right, right, right. Ironic because like that's kind of how a lot of 501c3s operate for the record. Uh, for those of you in the chat that don't understand, like a lot of a lot of these 501c3s are fucking major scams. So George isn't technically doing anything all that different, but uh, you know, it's still fucked up because there are real victims of uh, of uh, charity fraud like this. It's so uh, this guy's yeah, one of them. It, it, I mean, his friends and family raised all the money. Uh, it's insane. There's actually gave me hundreds towards it. Uh, there were some other donors that I didn't ever know, recognize their names or anything. They might have been through his organization. They might have been friends of mm -hmm. friends for all I know. Um, so we we raised three thousand dollars in two months, maybe three months. Um, it was six years ago. Uh, and as soon as the money came through, I was like, great. We're, you can we're, save your dog. We, we can get it right in and get this done. Um, Mr. DeVolder did not, or Santos, uh, decided that he did not want me to use my local vet. Uh, he wanted me to use his vets in Long Island or Queens. I don't remember which borough or, or town it was in. Um, and that was the only way he was going to let it happen. So we took, him to, we took the dog to the vet. Um, and the vet said, well, we believe this is too vascular, it's inoperable, um, but we'd like to go and have her uh, have, a, have an ultrasound to, to, so we can see if we can do anything with it. Um, I don't drive. I was homeless. Anthony DeVolder is his real name. And I paid name. a ride. I paid a friend to Bert bring Santos me up there. His real name. Uh, well, his name isn't his... fake. No, Anthony DeVolder is the name that, like, everyone knew him as before Oh, that he, was his fake before, name. Yeah. yeah and he it. says was, his name is, like, uh, you know, George Anthony DeVolder Santos. Yeah, <laughs> DeVolder was his mother's maiden name. So yeah. he used that sometime. That was his con name. I guess. Nice. His vet. To his vet. vet. I paid the tolls, the gas, lunches, and uh, DeVolder was supposed to pay me back for that. I even was dumb enough to give him my my bank account and my routing number because he said he was going to put the money right into my account. Never happened. That was when I started smelling something fishy. And, and, and so at, at one point, at this point, Michael, you, you get involved to try to help him get the money. Uh, yeah, absolutely. To try to, and, and so what you had conversations with Santos again, at this time you knew him as Anthony, Anthony DeVolta. Yes, I knew him as Anthony. Okay. What were those like? Uh, my goal was just to speak to a charity, to another charity. The last thing in my crossed my mind was that it was going to be a problem. It's the first right, time. So you weren't like, this is no, fraud at the I time. You're thinking, Rich I'm just going to solve this and get him his money. I <laughs> called up Rich and said to him, say, listen, this shouldn't be a problem. It's probably a misunderstanding at best. Relax. Let Nobody's me just speak this to him evil. and we'll work it it's out. It's got to be and a misunderstanding. When I called him, my intentions were just to <laughs> settle this really quickly and move on. But the problem was, is that when I spoke to him on the phone, he was not listening to what I was saying. He already made up his mind. I said to him, can you please give the money back to the people or there's a veterinarian in Rich's area that we can give the money to and put it into like a fund where he could use it from time to time. It's not your money to keep. And he just wasn't hearing it. I called Rich back horrified. I was really upset because this is Rich's lifeline. I work with veterans every day and dogs save people's lives, you know, and he needed this dog every day to be in his life. And I felt horrible to tell him that I failed him because of feeling that Mr. Holder at the time was gonna do the right thing and he did not. And, and you never got a dollar of the money? I never got anything. And um, and obviously he, like, she stole died. from a homeless veteran's family and friends. Dude, so insane. That is the best. Under the pretense of like saving his dog. That's like the greatest crime. He's ever. he's just such a yeah. Uh, he impersonated Kevin McCarthy's chief of staff to raise campaign funds from wealthy donors. Uh, wealthy donors received calls and emails from a man who said he was Dan Meyer, McCarthy's chief of staff, during the 2020 and 2022 election cycles. According to people familiar with the matter, his name was actually Sam Mealy, and he worked for Santos, raising money for his campaign. So, like, even people he had in his ranks, either under the direction of George Santos or on their own volition, were also doing cons, which I respect. Uh, he <laughs> lied about being a real estate manager. One of the, one. Uh, one through line through all of his, his scams and cons is that like whenever George Santos says something, it's usually the exact opposite. He claimed that he had a real estate portfolio with 13 properties when in fact he had actually been uh, evicted uh, four times. <laughs> so like, Which that's, is sad. that's insane. That sucks. But also, yeah. Uh, he's, um, yeah, he lied about being married to a man and lied by omission about being married to a woman. His campaign bio discussed his husband with whom he lives in Long Island, along with four dogs. But Santos never appeared on the campaign trail with his partner. The Daily Beast could not find a uh, marriage record in New York. And um, in 2019, however, Santos did actually uh, divorce a woman, uh, divorce a person. Uh, that person was a woman in Queens. 
He said, I'm very much gay, which I do believe. I, I do believe he's gay. Um, I'm he, gay. He lied about having employees who died in the Pulse gay. nightclub shooting, which was fucking insane. <laughs> that's oh, insane. that's like, crazy. Like, he, he said he lost four employees in the Pulse nightclub shooting in 2016. Wow. Um, that was not real. Uh, he lied about his grandparents being Holocaust victims. Uh, we already talked about that. And um, speaking of gay, now this wasn't usually an gay. issue. This was not an issue. Like drag queens were not a, a prominent culture war talking point until like the last, I would say, four or five years. You had drag queens who were like pro-Trump. If you remember, there was a pro-Trump drag queen in the 2016 campaign. Uh, like cross-dressing and drag is a prominent fixture in theater and in, in movies and in art uh, throughout history, right? And certainly American uh, movie as well. Eddie Murphy's entire career, Tyler Perry. Uh, you have uh, Mrs. Doubtfire, things like that, that we all grew up with. And yet now Republicans have decided to make this a culture war issue. And turns out we found out that uh, George Santos, who actually received donations uh, and and uh, got like a major backer by a prominent New York Republican who is anti-drag, who is anti-trans and, and, you know, very much like leading the effort in the anti-drag stuff. Um, George Santos himself was a drag queen. This man says drag queens are groomers. You guys have heard that. Check yeah. this out. Check this shit out. Look at how fucking happy he is right now. Este vídeo inédito That's our boy. ele aparece com o mesmo vestido. Yes, our, living not his our best boy. life. That is our queen. That's our queen. Tara Ravash. Slay. That's that's uh and he, he is. I mean, she's slaying. She's absolutely slaying. She's living Dude. her best fucking life. He, That's right. Eula so Rochard. Happy. She is so happy. Eula He's Rochard. So slay queen. Slay uh, queen. A, a Brazilian drag queen who was friends with George Santos when he lived near Rio said she and everyone else knew him as Anthony, never George, or <coughs> by his drag name, Katara Ravash, I believe. Yes, Katara. Look and confirms that there was a photo. She released a photo uh, from him in drag in 2008 at a drag show in Ikarai Beach. Oh, this is awesome, man. Now he's he is queen. in the red. Com he vehemently denies that that's him. That's not true. He used to. He that's used to deny it. You are missing key parts of the information uh -oh. here. So George Santos immediately comes out, says, that's not real. That's not true, whatever. And then like more and more information come out because he's been on camera and he ultimately gets caught. I think he was like walking uh, in an airport or something. And, and people are asking him about uh, the, the drag stuff. And he it says, yes, I was young and having fun. I am by no means a drag queen. Oh, so I guess there's a uh, there's oh, queen. he owned it. But that's still crazy because he says he's young and having fun. I think that's what that's what I thought they were doing too. But it turns out, I mean, from his own words here, uh, which I can't hear. Is that something back there? Uh, don't say. There you go. This is hey a everyone, George Santos opposed. here, congressional candidate in New York's third congressional district. Oh yeah, this isn't related. Let's well, talk this real is. Quick. This is him supporting the don't say gay bill. I was just giving this as an example that he's Yeah, and he claims that the left is hellbent yeah, on creating a yeah. false narrative because they want to groom our kids. That's what he said. He yep. said that, like and and obviously that ties along with like being you know queer. Um even though, you know, queer Republicans are like the LGB coalition or whatever the fuck routinely forget that like Republicans despise gay people too and think they're also <laughs> freaks that want to groom the children. Mhm. Mm um, Here, I want to watch this video of him. Think about the Florida bill, don't say gay. Although the bill doesn't mention those words, that's what the left-leaning Democrats and progressives are labeling it. I'll leave you with this. As a gay man, I stand proudly behind not teaching our children sex or sexual orientation. That's incumbent on the parents, not educators. DeSantis, you have my full-blown support, and I support your decision to protect our children's innocence. I stand proudly behind the Florida legislature for putting a decent bill that will protect values. Thank you. Finally, a sane gay person we can all support Slate here in queen. Florida. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's straight. There's no way he's gay. He's, he's lied about everything. Dude, he is so he's, gay. Yeah, God, you're First right. of all, I mean, this is like deep cut uh, gay Twitter shit, but like, 
He's mischievous and devious in a very gay way. Okay, we are gay, we and are I don't straight. mean that in like the homophobic straight guy saying like gays are devious. I mean like, like he he did drag. Like he he he's super gay. He's we super. Are gay, the we are the only the only non-gay fact about him is that sweater vest. Okay, mm. <laughs> that is the only thing that like just you know sets off my gaydar in the opposite direction. <clears throat> my favorite is when people keep asking Kevin McCarthy about it. He keeps going, listen, he was duly elected. I was like, fucking duly elected? What the fuck are you talking about? He literally lies about everything. Yeah. He, they, they elected a fictional character. Like, right. you, like, look, Kevin McCarthy, not gay, okay? Like, you think this guy and, uh, like, look at the, the sassiness, the charisma of Kevin McCarthy, who just looks like a wet noodle, and then George Santos, who was able to con... Thousands of people, okay? You think that's a gay a gay swag? Yes, he has gay swag, 100%. Okay, all right. Just also, he watches a fuckload of Drag Race because he had a back and forth with uh, Trixie Mattel on Twitter. And in that back and forth, he literally admits that he watches the show because... Uh, here, he pull that up. It's on, the, it's on the dock. I mean, yeah, it's number five here. Um, he says, I have now been enshrined in late night TV history with all these impersonations, but they are all terrible so far. John Love is supposed to be one of the greatest comedians of all time. And that was embarrassing for him, not me. These comedians need to step their game up. Trixie Mattel responds, maybe the source material was weak. 29,000 likes, by the way. George Santos responds with a uh, gif of Trixie saying, clearly, you know all about weak acting skills. It's a gif. Uh, with a gif yeah and then Trixie responds I am not an actor I was young and I had fun at a festival <laughs> that is in reference to what uh, George awesome. Santos had said about doing drag <laughs> George Santos replies it's all good I won my race against the fan favorite too she, he knows I was, she knows yeah, I don't even know what that means I, I mean you can understand that's from context he's like I didn't, yeah. I didn't watch RuPaul's Drag Race but like clearly that's like something does. that I assume happened in, this, uh, in, in that season Olivia can you confirm I know you're a massive fan that, is that deep yes George Santos knew that Trixie really fucked up Snatch Game when she did her impression of uh, RuPaul because she normally shit. slays it on her other show Wow. <laughs> so she got really clowned on for that there you so go here's, here's Kevin McCarthy who uh who just loves, uh, he loves Georgie Boy Claims over here. to not like drag is getting dragged all around the timeline. <laughs> oh! Now, PC fraud charges from Brazil to have access to top secret information. I don't see any way that he's going to have top secret. If you're referring to George Santos, he's got a long way to go to earn trust. But the one thing I do know trust. is you, you apply the Constitution. How the fuck are you going to talk about trust? Yeah, how about... How about you? You, I what mean, look. That dead dog. He trusts Marjorie Taylor Greene as well, and we all right. know why he's trusted Marjorie Taylor Greene. Okay, I'm saying it. I'm fucking saying it. Kevin McCarthy, I believe, is having sexual intercourse with Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> Slay it fucking is. horn dog. <laughs> I believe it. You heard it here. Her T it levels are through the roof because she's doing, you know, oh, kipping. <laughs> Wait, what? Kipping CrossFit. What the fuck was that? The voters of his district have elected him. He is seated. He is part of the Republican I conference. Mean, you basically, if you, you might as well just like, if I get elected, I might as well just send someone else and be like, well, he was elected. I mean, literally, they did not vote for him. They voted for some fictional character that he right. made in a laboratory. I mean, the seat that Kevin McCarthy is currently <laughs> occupying at this moment used to be held by the longest running pedophile. Uh, who also happened to be the longest running uh, speaker of the house. So Dennis Wait, Hastert, really? It's the same seat? Well, no, 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 not the same seat. Dennis Hat. Sorry, it's not his. Uh, it's not, not the same, the same seat, but the same oh. position that he had. Right. Okay. As a spe as the speaker of the house was uh, occupied as a record holder by uh, Dennis Hastert for uh, most pedophilia, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> well, not allegedly. He went to prison for that, but I don't know if mm -hmm. he's a record holder for most pedophilia, but. Um, <laughs> Also, uh, record holder for longest running speaker of the house. Well, here so we, go. we know Republicans don't give King. a shit. <laughs> no matter. There are concerns about it, so he will go before ethics. If anything is found to be have wrong, he will be held accountable exactly as anybody else in this body would be. That is the fair way to handle anything you go, and that's how I'll deal with any single issue. Are they really that putting him through ethics for. committees? I mean, he <sighs> says that. I don't know.
They're like, he's good. In the mean, in the, you'd think if like there were questions, they would hold off on like giving him important like assignments. But like we said, he's already been given <laughs> positions on the small business committee. The guy who's currently being investigated for running a Ponzi scheme is on the small business committee. Yeah, I see he's on the committee for business transparency uh, and that, truth and advertising. Of, uh, excuse me, <laughs> Ponzi schemes are at the heart of American small business. Uh, I, okay. so. <laughs> I see, I'm sorry. I see here he's on the uh, committee for um, uh, truth, uh, the truth and justice committee. Yeah, put him on, put him on the ethics committee. Dude. Yeah, the ethics. Put him on the animal welfare committee. Business, ethics, yeah. Yeah, it's great. All right, there it is. I know you got to go. Ugh. We did it. We've been here. We've done it. George, I think he could be president. <laughs> Fuck it. It's yeah. a shame about the dog thing because otherwise it's all really funny to me. Yeah. That's the one that it's like, oh, wow. The thing is, if you Fuck put him. a face to all the people he probably stole money from, it's that really too, sad too. But it's easy because they don't, we don't know who they are. Well, there's always have... some woman who's like, I spent my whole life savings giving George. Yeah. Now other... I can't afford my insulin. Fair the enough. other element here, first of all, uh, he could absolutely become governor in Florida. I mean, <laughs> literally fucking, uh, uh, what's his face? Rick, uh, God, the one that looks like Voldemort. I always forget his name. Rick Scott mm -hmm. uh, was, uh, you know, charged uh, with the largest Medicare fraud in American history, and then Florida was like, "That's going to be our governor." Wait, he was doing <laughs> Medicare fraud, like yeah. he, him, he. Yeah, his company uh, that he ran was. How much was, did they steal? I think uh, was it twelve million. Hold on, let me oh, look what? it up real That's, quick. They, people have done bigger ones than that, no? No, no, no. One of the large. This is one of the largest. Yeah. Heck, the historic one point seven billion Medicare. fraud. Oh, wow. I was wrong. Yeah, yeah one way more billion. Yeah, that's one point seven billion about. Medicare. That's fraud. what the fuck I'm talking about, my yeah. man. He's all. He's like, yo, we need why the lower it, taxes why it and cut benefits. Come up? Like when I go to his Wikipedia, it, it doesn't show his like. You know, it, it's not like a fat like accusations criminal. Right. Yeah, I see that. He's got a good it's, PR firm. You got a awards and honors uh, tab. Controversial investments. Does that count? Yeah. <laughs> That's a very sanitized way. Oh, and by like, the way, he stole uh, $2.3 billion from the federal government. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, back to uh, how great of a guy he is. Yep. He's like, listen, I'm not in favor of social medicine, so I'm just scooping it up. Make yeah. sure it doesn't go to the poor people. Oh, true. Yeah, and of course them. now he, you know, now his entire purpose in the Republican Party is to like cut uh, more entitlements, cut more benefits, cut Social Security. I tell you That's what, what he's man. running on all the time. Mm -hmm. Fucking idiots, dude. I got it. I just, I despise how stupid Republicans are sometimes. Like, you think that guy has got your best interests at heart? He's just like literally grafting you. He's just skull fucking you every day. <laughs> Then openly showing his disdain for the working poor, and you're like, no, nah, that's my guy. He doesn't have any fucking qualities. If you ever listen to him, if you ever watch him, he's not like he's a particularly charismatic person either. He looks like fucking Voldemort. You know what's interesting? <laughs> Here he's, you see he's smiling. The eyes, they are not smiling. Right. That is death. Yeah, There's because no you know why? Eyes, because right. the only time he's ever smiled is when he's stealing from the, when he's robbing the poor, Okay. <laughs> and Smile. he hasn't robbed the poor in a while. That's Air. why his eyes have the death stare. He they're almost like they look like he's in terror. Smile. Terror. This guy's <laughs> seen the darkness. He's gazed into the He's peered into the void and it peered back. Yeah. Let's see if we can catch what's in the reflection of his eye. What the fuck? Is that a body? No. That's Satan? Is that a pitchfork no, and flames couldn't. of hell? Couldn't be. Is that the screams of oblivion of all lost souls that have perished? <laughs> I just, you know, the there's scream. no, there's no such as karmic justice that these demons keep surviving. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, the poor and needy, they. I can hear the screams and blood chilling cries of helpless millions who have perished. <laughs> And because they did not accept Jesus, they weren't baptized, so they went straight to hell. And there, Rick feasts on their souls. <laughs> the right. smile says... Hassan's gotta go. <laughs> yeah. But the eyes... I know, you, I know you're really into this right now. <laughs> all right, all right. Thanks, Hassan. Uh, we covered a lot of ground here today, so that's good. Hell yeah.
You know what? That's awesome. We raised oh, Dale I, 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 and we praised Dale, baby. I wanted to ask right. you about the Bradley aftermath, but whatever. he has not responded to me yet. I said, "What do you make of this uh, blood work?" I sent it to him, like my T level. Oh and stuff. shit! Well, let me know well, what he says. I will. I'll let you know. Bring the results next week. I'll keep you posted. Should I send him my <laughs> blood? Be like, dude, you're dying. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You should Dr. Get your, Bradley Martin, tell me. You should get your you should get your blood work done though, regardless. Yeah, you're right. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Oh, Rebecca Black's coming tomorrow. Oh, How hell cool yeah. That? She dunked the shit on Andrew Tate. That hell yeah, funny. dude. <laughs> Brinding. Feminist Brinding. Uh, icon. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow with uh Rebecca Black and uh God bless. Uh,